All right, everybody. Now listen again. I say this every single night. If you're not getting notifications, when you hit the subscribe button, you hit the notification bell, and then all videos. Do you see that? So if you're not getting them, you might need to unsubscribe and subscribe again and select the notification bell in all videos. Please. Hello and welcome. <laughs> this is Gray Hughes of Gray Hughes Investigates on YouTube. This channel evaluates all aspects of true crime. As you are aware, videos and live streams in this genre often discuss elements of crime that may be disturbing to some oh, viewers. Oh. If necessary, take the precautions needed to avoid oh, these feelings. feelings. Factual information okay. related to cases is the key to fostering okay. rational, rational true crime discussions. Fortunately, you will find that here. Yeah, we, Please we hit the like little. button only once. Share the video and subscribe if you like my content. Thank you very much for watching. Cassim, be right. Here we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, I think the dogs are doing something else tonight. freaks well tonight's gonna there's more information now you know sort of starting to sound like there is something nefarious that went on with uh riley strain you know i always want to keep saying strand for some reason but i catch myself every time but uh riley strain he um i don't know just uh Things are a little, little strange, you know. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm saying. Doesn't, doesn't seem like somebody just sort of fell into the water. I mean, they could have just fallen into the water, but after something else, I don't, you know, who knows? But hey, welcome, ninety nine pink balloons. Uh, Vinny uh, Politan did a show this afternoon. I showed up over there, and boy, did those trolls show up, man! They came from. Everywhere known to man, they just hey hey, great over there, you know, and they run over there and they just start trashing over and over and over again. It's it's just really pretty pretty wild, really. Uh, and then you try to say something. I mean, it's not even worth even saying anything back. You know? I don't know what that means, Jim. You'll have to type it out the full words. Nobody knows what you're saying. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Well, welcome everybody. I thought what we could do is go over the, uh, you know, just go over the, basically what was in my video earlier, and then, you know, there's new information. A what his credit card was found by some TikTokers. You know, again, it's like, how, where, where was, <laughs> I thought law enforcement had people looking around down there. Were they even looking or, I mean, somebody on randomly on TikTok just sort of goes down there and, oh, wait, look at this. Here's his uh, credit card. I don't know. That's just weird to me. Kind of makes you wonder. I wish people would film the original search to see how that went. And if you guys could go out and make sure to hit that like button really quick and go out and share the live stream uh, quickly. Uh, let me know. Uh, if you could do that for me, that'd be great. You know, let me know that you did it in the chat. I know it was live, you know. I saw that. That's why I brought it up. Makes sense. 
Well, thanks, Grace. I mean, those are the that's the typical kind of video that I make, the one that I put out earlier. Uh, I just got sidetracked, so I hadn't been able to put it out yet, but I basically showed those same things on a show that I did, but it was spread out over an entire show, so it's, it's always a lot uh, better to um, just put it all in a condensed form for people. Yeah, all right, so let's just, uh, I guess we can just get started here. And I know this, my channel isn't like the traditional channel where people just show up and I just go, yep, oh yeah, whatever, and just sort of rely on just random, you know, randomness. <laughs> I always say at the beginning of my shows that my channel survives and thrives on your your generosity where I get you know super chats channel memberships etc I also make ad revenue uh, this month has been way larger so I rely on the support of you guys in the super chats etc and then I also give away a lot of the money now you're always welcome to go send money into charities all by yourself I say that all the time and if you can't afford uh, I'm, I'm not a charity intake company it's just one of the things that I do with a large portion of my income all right if you want a, a better bang for your buck, though, is to send money straight into a charity. All right? I say that all the time, if that's what your goal is. Now, if your goal is to help my channel out, knowing that I also give some away, that's great. That'd be awesome. All right. So, hey, thank you very much, Ria Mazarone, and thank you prior to the show to Brown Eyed Girl, da -da -da -da, Claudia Neubauer, and Kubi. You're not sure what this, what do you mean you're not sure what this case is about? We've talked about it, this was the third time. Yeah, Riley Strain, I, I mean I can just, if you watched the video that I put out earlier, you'd, you'd know the case already. You know, I put one out earlier today. It started off really slow, it's actually picked up momentum throughout the day, which is kind of strange. Okay, here is where uh, Riley Strain, he is a college student. Him and some other fraternity members were uh, in town and they were hanging out at this bar here. And he got kicked out apparently after they gave him one drink. So he probably was pre-funking as I, we used to call it. Uh, we use Old English 800, just pound a bottle straight down, you know. Uh, but yeah, you're, he's, perhaps he was already drunk or you know highly intoxicated when he went in to the bar called uh, Luke's 32 or Luke Bryan uh, as the owner that's what they referred to it as I, I, I said that in the video that drama anyways uh, so he's right here and then about 9 35 p.m. he was kicked out and not one soul not one of his freaking uh, fraternity quote brothers thought it was worthwhile for them to leave too to make sure that their friend made it back home now they'll have all kinds of excuses and say this and that and it's all bullshit okay uh, for people in fraternities they care about one thing having a great time and uh, if somebody is ruining that good time you know the hell with them okay uh, the hell with them that, that's the reality of it Okay, uh, sure, you can make good friends in there, and you can, you know, lifelong friends, etc. just like you can do in the dorms, for God's sakes. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it has nothing to do with anything. Uh, I, I'm telling you, if you have kids, do not let them join a, a fraternity, sorority, or anything. There's nothing of value at all. There's, it's not like this thing where they go, hey, man, we're all going to study together. We're all going to get great grades. No way, man. That's the last thing anybody cares about. And that's the truth. Now, they'll come on and say, oh, that's, <laughs> that's bull crap, Gray. Uh, but I just told you the truth. Hey, thanks, Jamie Hicks. Welcome. So anyways, it just bothers me a lot, you know. And I, I'm saying this from my own experience, not from, you know, like <laughs> some just random comment that I'm making. I know it. 
Uh, like I said in the video earlier, you know, my brother died in the fraternity, and I, you know, it was just, I was a pledge, basically, you know, just right after that, and I was just thinking, man, these guys are like his brothers, you know, and I get in there, and I remember sometimes some of them would say, Gray, you need to get over it, man, you know, and I was just so devastated and down, you know. And I ended up having to leave the school. I remember, uh, it's funny, my friend doesn't remember this, but I remember I was walking. I actually remember where I was. I was uh, walking away from the bars. And my friend, Ken, who's the one of the best hacky sackers in the world, he, uh, he, was, he was just walking to do something, like go to the library or coming back from the library. And I was like crying and stuff. And I was just like... I got, and he goes, Gray, you need to get out, of, get away from, get out of the school. So I, then the next term, you know, just based on <laughs> him saying that, I transferred to Oregon State University and, you know, struggled my ass off for the first, uh, gosh, I don't know, first uh, six months or a year there. I mean, I didn't even give a, sh a hell, I didn't give a damn there either. You know, but at least I was around different people, you know, and so, and then eventually I got out of that and then I got really good grades at the end, but during that one middle phrase there, I mean, I got like 0.7 one term. I really was just a zombie, you know, totally uh, just in a weird state. So anyways, uh, you know, so just, just realize that, you know, I guess if you're in a fraternity and you're the president, you know, people might give a shit and look out for you. But if you're just a random fraternity member, you're the last person on their mind. They look out for themselves having fun and protecting the fraternity at all costs. All right? There you go. All right. So anyways, here's where the it started off. 935 here at Luke's 32. And down the street. So I think it's kind of a, you know, doesn't it help a little bit just to see it like this with the 3D Google Earth? So it's right there. And then you come down. He's just walking along the street, obviously. We don't have any surveillance from there. And then he takes a right on, I think it's called, uh, yeah, Church Street there. So he takes a right on Church Street, goes this direction. And we were seeing earlier how, I mean, isn't it, isn't it amazing, Google Earth? Like, see those manholes? That's exactly what we were looking at. Let me go to, I'll open it up really fast, just a second. Hey, thanks, Olivia. Yeah, so when he when he falls right there in that video, we're just going to go through the what the video had in it earlier. See right there, there's one, uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, well, it's weird. I mean, there's been construction done since then. I don't think he actually hit that that pylon there, to be honest with you. I think it just looks like that. But if you look at when he stumbles, you know, he's about 10 feet away right there. And he goes down, and it just looks like it, but he's far enough with that angle of the camera. He's back there. So there's a light pulling in the two um, like uh, manholes right there. And if you look, there's just one there and then two. So here's the light pull, two, and then there's one. That's exactly what you see when you go down to uh, Street View there. See, there's one behind that pull there and then two. So he just falls down right there. And I guess uh, I didn't really look to see what that... Uh, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Where the hell did that go? Uh, right here. Yeah, so he's running, and then he falls down, and then let's, let's take a look. If we go down the street view right here, so I would think the camera would be maybe just right up on the side of that building. As a matter of fact, well, you can see him right there. Here you go. I don't know if they move those, but perhaps there's one up higher. That's not one there. But it could have just been that these were, at the time of this, this is two years ago, that they've rotated that to face the other direction. That's what I would think that that would be the camera. It makes sense. 
Yeah, there could be one up on a building over there, but I don't think so. I think it's that fits right into that right there. I think. Let me just see if there's one just around the side. Now there's three of them. So one of these cameras caught that. All right, I don't know. It's weird. It could be. Let's see. It's, it's definitely left of the flag, the pole, and then behind that one. Yeah, so it almost seems like. Uh, yeah, so it's wild. It looks like it has. Like that pole is in the way. Is it that one? <laughs> it's almost like it's right there or something. You guys see that? Like that pole is right in the middle of the shot. If you go back to it, see that, that long pole with the white and black on the bottom? See that? White, black. Uh, so that means the camera is, it's not one of these. It's something over back on the building, back over there. I don't know if that's something, but it doesn't look like a camera. But it's definitely over here then, which is kind of interesting. Didn't even think of that. All right. So anyways, he then walks down this direction right here. And he gets over here at um, 9. Yeah, let's go up in the air. So that's 9, 45, and 57 seconds. So it's just a minute total of when he showed up on camera here and then ends up over here. So you see a little opening there, and obviously if you go down to Street View, that opening's still sitting there. And then in the video, he walks by, gets up, you know, he's really staggering around. We'll just play the whole thing, I guess. Make sure to hit that like button, everybody. If you can just do one thing and hit that like button, it'd be great. So here he comes, 945, he's stumbling in. It looks like he face planted on the ground. You know, and he's walking and he's just really struggling here. Yeah, like I said before, much like Kanika Jenkins in the uh, in the Kanika Jenkins case when she was intoxicated with a topiramate and alcohol and she could just barely walk. I mean it was it was unbelievable. So in this case right here, the camera, so there you go, you turn around. And you look up, and I believe the camera for this shot, however, is this one right there. I think that's the shot. And, you know, if you pan back. Now, it's hard to say, though, you know. It's one of those things where there could be another camera that's been installed since then, but that's the one that's available right then. Then he just kept walking down the street like this. And it looks like there's... There's something interesting now. You remember that first show where somebody said, hey, look at that guy standing around at the crosswalk looking at him. I was like, I don't know. And then later in the show, I was like, well, you know, maybe, you know, maybe. I mean, I can't really say. I, I stop myself because usually I just, you know, try, uh, that was one of those things where I think, well, I can't say for sure, right? So there's a guy walking, uh, well, uh, strain walks across, and then there's this other guy that's just sort of standing there that has a white top on. And so that matches then, later on, somebody running. So if you look at this, now let's just take a look at that and then open up the video. Get back, let me get to that spot. So here we are at that intersection. And again, uh, on street view here, if you turn around, the camera that filmed that shot is right here. And I have an update on the other camera. Somebody sent me an email, and I was like, yep, I think that's better than what I had. Same building and everything. But. Uh, so anyways, he's walking across right here. Thanks, Alley Cake. Attempting a wave for me. Attempting a wave. Uh, let's see. So let's watch this. Now look at this guy over here. I mean, it is, it is interesting. If you really just... I remember when we replayed it again, I was like, well, I can't really tell. Because look what he does. It's almost like right now he's watching this really drunk person. Look at him. He's walking. He just keeps watching the really drunk person, Riley Strain. And then he pulls out a phone 
and he keeps kind of glancing at him and he's looking at his phone and then he's got his phone here and he's walking this direction hey thanks mama she 13 and then he wanders off in that direction so back down to street view he walked right here right across that that crosswalk again there's a camera right up there then he goes around this corner if I can go that way I'll do it there we go so around this corner obviously he didn't fall off or flip over any of these this area this is what we were, I was anyways first thought maybe he fell over this area here but then we were then we went over the ping information and it basically showed that he was much further down and that means he made it to at 9.52, and it, it takes, it, um, so that last shot we just looked at, that surveillance, when he's crossing the crosswalk, uh, crosswalk is 9.47, takes five minutes to walk to the bridge here, and that's exactly when they said at 9.52 to 9.53, he was seen underneath he, uh, here, in between the two bridges. All right, so he's walking like this. Apparently, he's still able to, you know, ambulate <laughs> as a, uh, who, who was that? That was uh, Juan Martinez, would say. You're down here. And it's still making it, but apparently somewhere around in here, maybe a camera. Um, I'm not sure where one would be. Um, don't know. Some people are saying it's the police cars that drove by, but they came by late. That wouldn't have made sense. And that's not a surveillance camera. I mean, I guess you could call them that, but they're, that's not technically what they are so uh, underneath here is a homeless encampment you know underneath this in this area between the two bridges and then there's some surveillance footage from down here now somebody sent me an email and I'll have to give them credit for it because they got it uh, right I thought it was the camera over here I mean it's really irrelevant but the camera right there I thought that was it because you could see that camera but um, she was pointing out that it's th like this one. I didn't even know those were cameras. I thought they were like buttons <laughs> that you press. But anyways, I guess that's a camera. And that makes sense because then you could see this camera against the wall. Because something didn't make sense when I was looking at that other camera. Uh, let's see if I get this out and move it forward. So look. Um, see how this is this camera is obviously not against the wall you know that's something I should have noticed but it's not against the wall it's out a little bit and then there's that camera and let's see one two three about a foot above that line that's a good way to to check it you know if you're just trying to re let's see one two three about a foot above it so yeah that's that camera and the camera was one of these okay and still that same towers in there. Thank you, Tara. All right, and so in that video, these are two cop cars driving by. I don't have the original video. I don't know where to find that. Does anybody know where the original is? And I'm not talking about a YouTuber. I'm talking about where you can get the original video of this area here apparently it's longer etc it'd be kind of cool to have that I don't know where that is so if you know where it is send me an email and then then after that this person runs by here and as you can see the person has a light top okay a light top not a dark top and the angle here that it's being looked at is obviously from behind and we know from behind that he look, would look at like that. See the dark shirt there? You wouldn't have that light shirt. Now somebody says, well, maybe he lost his shirt and he has a white shirt underneath it. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Does he have a white shirt? I mean, I don't know if he has a shirt on underneath it. He could have a shirt on underneath. I mean, is that what that is? The white uh, shirt? And then because somebody out there is claiming that uh, one of the homeless people was wearing a shirt. And I just have a hard time believing that. You know, I don't know. That seems like something law enforcement would have been all over found that person and you know it just sounds like um, 
we'll have to wait and see. If you can show me a photograph of the shirt that somebody was wearing, that'd be great. I know the front of the shirt is white. We know the front of the shirt is white. Yeah, we get that. I know. I'm saying that from behind, just like the guy running, it would be black. And it's not in the video, right? So if you look at it, uh, right here, you wouldn't see it like that because this is at an angle, like a 45 degree angle to the body. And that would be a white, basically a black shirt from that same angle. Is this is that what this is right here? Uh, quintessential organics. And can you tell me where that is? That what is that this shot right here? Called Birch Pedestal View. Is that this one? And where where is the video? Can you tell me about that? And if you could send me an email, here's my email. Just send me a link to it. It's here. Here it is, right here. Uh, well, you can't post it above. There's, links aren't accepted in YouTube uh, channel uh, videos except for moderators. That's just how it is. Okay, it's on YouTube. All right, let's see. Um, I've already lost your comment, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, there it is. I mean, where did they get the video from? Looking for the perfect remote job? All right, hold on a second. I got to try to get this. I want to see this in a, in a better form. And we're definitely having a lull here tonight, you guys, with 1,100 people watching. We're struggling to get to the goals that we set nightly. All right, let's see. Where is the... There. There it is. I'm not playing. I'm not going to play it off of YouTube. Takes a second here. Let's see, 17, all right, this may take a little bit of time to download this, but uh, we'll see. It'd be great to take a look at that, see what else is moving around. All right, so in the meantime, while this is downloading over here, how about we take a look at the there's a TikTok video. Oh, thank you up there to uh, Richard Gardner. Gray always brings it. Thank you. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. Um, we're going to open up the police sending boat. I think that's this one. I don't know if it's the full TikTok video or. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this one's like a minute long. So. Let's just Anna from there too. Uh, I know she lives here right now. I can't remember where she was from. So here. it's kind of like this long TikTok video. But before we even get started on that, I'm going to pause it right here. Okay. So right in this area, you can tell that they're, um, from this angle, you can see the M over there. I don't know if you can see it's really small, but it's right over here, M, and these little buildings, and then that bridge over there. So if you come up here, you can actually see the M. I mean, it's amazing how accurate Google Earth is with the 3D models. And then there's the bridge right there. So the angle that the person mm -hmm. is standing at, it looks like you can see a little bit of space in the with the M. See this M built, this uh, cylinder here, and that one and that one? And then you look up there, and then the M, and then there's a space between them. So you'd have to be kind of about like that ish you know about well maybe it could be about like this right so it feels like it's right down here 
that's where I put the TikTok symbol and it's just right below the bridge down here so I think they're standing either there or right underneath the pillar here I guess we could see it looks like there's a shadow here oh you, oh, you moved the comment uh, oh, I was trying to be more uh, helpful to show you guys okay let me go back <laughs> all right uh, I guess I'll have to do that part again so there's the M cylinder and you can see it and there's like a gap there so if you go back to the footage you can see over there there's a gap in the the, the site where the M is and that other cylinder and that cylinder and then you can see the bridge over there please Anna from there too uh, I know she lives here right now. I can't remember where she's from here. Now. Yeah, somebody blocked that mark but, hey, mark. She's down. right with me to go climb right down. Yeah, block the mark mark guy. So anybody that comes in and talks like that, they're not somebody who's worthy of having around. Okay, so just go ahead and remove them from the channel. Thank you. I was like, my type of gal. No hesitation. I, d I, don't know what I didn't know about you doing all that very well. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can see that area here. Ah, Jesus. Man, what in the hell? One of the things I don't really like about Windows um, 11, just these things that pop up. So I don't know. This is a different time of year, so there's more trees in there. You can't see. So I think they're just standing right, right here. I guess if we go down here, this might be interesting. We go down right here, turn around. See if I can get through this 3D glob here. Right there. And then look out this direction. And there you go. So you have that. And then just like that. See? Now you can see the bridge and the M. But they feel I feel like they're more like about like this, though. Watch. About right here where they're standing. So if I put a pin there, where, where is that going to? Let's see where that shows up. Yeah, so it's about the same spot. And then somebody yells, hey, I found something, and then they go running over there. So I'll play that out. It's pretty amazing. I mean, you got to admit, it's pretty freaking crazy that some TikTokers live streaming over there just randomly come across something that searchers should have found, right? Look at her. She's got a stick. That's my pepper gal. Like, oh. Well, I know the homeless I saw up above, they would have like a couple spots, like old fire pits or something. Old spots they'd burn stuff to take them around and bring them out like that. I don't think they do right here, or at least where that guy's tent is, because he's talking about how cold. What? You found his credit card? We could found his credit card. We gotta hang up. We gotta hang up the phone. Oh my god. How freaking crazy is that? I'm not sure why you had to hang up the phone, but uh, you know. <laughs> but it sounded like there was an echoey sound, which made it seem like they were almost underneath here, which you know, you guys look at that. My circle here, it's right inside. My smaller circle that I created the other night looks like right, maybe on the edge of it right there. We started off with this one, narrowed it down to here, then inside of that, and then boom. It, they're searching right there, and apparently it's found right around in this area over here, right between the two bridges. So it's likely he never made it out from between the two bridges, right? Doesn't that make sense? Here, hold on a second. Right, so uh, he, he never makes it out of here. There's no sightings of him again. That person yet, uh, running is not him. It's somebody else. 
And I think that that person wearing the white shirt and the dark pants that's running is uh, extremely interesting. And I don't normally say that on stuff like that, but it is extremely interesting because of the timing of it. All right, so I guess we'll be able to tell for certain here in a minute. So let me see. Um, I just want to make sure. So this is, let me give credit to the, who did you say that channel was again? That was on? It's called Birch Pedestal View of Gay Street. Uh, Knight Riley Strain went missing. Okay, and what was the name of that guy? I'll say the name. Uh, Brandon Smith, is that it? All right, so yeah, go check out. It's called Birch Pedestal View of Gay Street. The Knight Riley uh, Strain went missing. Uh, actually, let me just, I'll put the link in there. How about that? There it is. So if you want to go out and watch it, it's right here. I mean, that's amazing to get that type of video there. So there you go. If you want to go out and check that out on your own, you can go watch it. Uh, I'm going to, you know, you'll be able to see it in the chat later if you want. This is at the, uh, what time is it? We are 36 minutes in. That's when the link was put up. 30, almost 37 minutes. Look at it. All right. So let's take a look. Here we go. Just a second. I can't, I'm not going to do it full screen like that. i got to be able to see other stuff. So let's see. What time is it? Oh, well, do we know what time it is, though? That's the problem I have here. You know, like what time does this start? You know, there's no time code on the screen. I mean, that's unfortunate. Does it say uh, video? This starts, at, okay, it starts at 8.59 and 58 seconds. All right. So it starts at 8.59 and 58 seconds. So that means, um, let's just say it's 9 o'clock. So if we go 54 minutes later, should be right at right, right around this time would be when the cop cars drive by, right? Or is it not? Let me see. Yeah, 859, 59 seconds. So it should be right around. Let's just see what's happening. Let's go from 51 and just play it. I thought it looked sort of like a bike, too, Cheryl, earlier. I, I wasn't sure, though. You know, it's so blurry that I couldn't tell, but I think you might... It could be somebody on a bike, but the timing of it is just so perfect, you know? Okay, there goes a car. Now it's at 9.51. I did see that, though. I, did th I thought I could see a bike, but I wasn't sure because it's so pixelated over there. Yeah, everybody's talking about the black car. We don't know what the black car is. A lot of people have black cars. They're all over the place. I've seen the video where people are talking about a black car. You think he was roofied? I don't know. Hard to say, hard to say. That guy's going a little too fast. <laughs> All right, we're at 52. I'm just going to move it. Uh, now 52.30. This is why I always question when people say, oh, we saw the two cop cars at 9.54. Well, if we don't see them at 9.54, then that changes stuff, right? I mean, the guy uh, that's running, in my video, I said, if this is true, it's significant. If it's not true, then it's, you know, like if it's 10.03 or something, what, then it doesn't matter that somebody's running by. I mean, who knows what that means, you know. It's, but the timing of it, that it is right now, where the person 
you know, Riley Strain goes missing, and then one minute later there's somebody running away from exactly the same spot, that's pretty significant. I think most people would agree with that, right? Yeah, they found a body earlier. I didn't mention it because it wasn't his. <clears throat> that's, just what, that's how I do it. I don't know why. I just... You know, it just feels like mentioning it is sort of, um, you know, like, hey, everybody, ooh, there's a body, ooh, there's more, you know, I'm trying to, almost like you're trying to insinuate there's a connection somehow. So it's almost uh, 54 if he got it right when he said that it starts at, uh, let's see what he said in the comments, 8, 59, and 58 seconds. So basically 9 o'clock in the evening. And right now we are at okay. There's a that okay. This works. That's a cop car there, and I think it's second one. All right, there we go. That is 54. That's at 9:54. So that's interesting. So that means strain uh, strain is already underneath there and likely down the embankment at that point because his cell phone quits pinging almost immediately after this. So let's see when the actual person is running, what time that is. Because all it was said was a little while later, this, you know. I was thinking it was like a minute later. So right now we're at I just do it the way I do it. I don't do the zooming. I like to stay at regular size. Um, okay, there's somebody right there. Okay, you see that? I mean, that's, in, you know, you got to admit that's interesting because it's 9.55 right when his, his phone quit pinging. Look at that. So here's what, let's do, let's do something here. So we know it's at 9.55. So I'm going to open up Adobe Premiere and we're going to go and see what we can see on this by uh, changing the contrast a little bit. Because this seems like a really much better quality. You're, you're not... <laughs> Sorry, Zozo. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just pause. Get, get out of the ad. I don't know why YouTube does... Uh, you know, you just, I forget to sometimes to set it to manually put ads in you know. but hey at least it works you know um, all right here we go we're gonna bring this video in I'll create a new sequence in here and put the video into it all right and then we'll Make it as big as we can on the screen. That's pretty good there. And then go to 9, so 55. Hey, thank you. Tamster, k me and Cali Gal 3 with a cat eye. <laughs> you did. You caught a live stream. It's amazing. It's, it's freaking a miracle. Okay, so what we're going to do is, the rest of it to me is mildly interesting, but I'm just going to, uh, that doesn't, that won't work like that. So if I go right to 955, let me stop it right on basically 955. And then, so right there, so we'll just know that, that that's 955 and we'll slide that over to the end. And then we'll play it from here. Thanks, wise child. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button because we actually figure stuff out here. Okay, like in all the cases that we do, we try to put things together where we're figuring things out where it's irrefutable, not, you know, sometimes you can't get to that level. 
Like, I can't tell you that this guy running is a criminal, but look at he's right there. Looks like, or the, if I think right after this, right? I think you can see somebody running. Do you remember what time I said it was? <laughs> I know it's right around this time. Maybe I missed it already and I was looking at something else. I think I did. I think it's at the beginning. Hold on. Thank you, Kubi. And wise child. Okay, there it is. I see it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it really large now. I'm going to wait until I cannot see that person anymore. It's almost like they ran from the area and then started walking. I think that's interesting too. That's normally what you do when you feel like you've cleared the danger zone. All right, let me just, just use that for now. I'm going to get rid of everything else. I still have the original. Zoom in. And then I'm going to, let's see, I might even, I think I'm just going to, maybe I'll just crop it. Hold on a second. Uh, crop. Then go to the top. That's all we really need is right there. Now I make this fill the screen. All right, well, that's way better right there, right, you guys? I mean, that's uh, look at that. So you see the person in there. Then can you guys see that a lot better now? How there's a person running when I go like this. Really easy to see. I think what I might even do is scale in a little bit more and see if I can go over to the edge for now. And what does that look like? Does he come in? Yeah, look at that. Boom. Right here. All right. So here we go. I'm going to add a another filter here. This one is going to be the uh, video effects. It's going to be the uh, color correction and select brightness and contrast. Now this one should really make something stick out. Did I get that on there? Hmm, I don't think that was it. Well, it should have been. Let's see. Color contrast. Oh, there it is. All right. So I'm going to make it brighter first, then change the contrast. See that? Look at that right there. Now watch. Look at how you can see the wall way better now, right? See that? Oh, man, look at that. Now, you, if you're going to tell me that's a dark shirt, that looks like a white shirt with blue. I mean, you can absolutely see it on that one. Can I get a boom? Right. So there you go. Uh, let me let me uh, zoom in a little bit more here. I mean, you start losing clarity for sure, but let's see what it looks like over in this area. So you see those shoes, right? Like a white color shoe coming in. So maybe what I can do is, let me try to track this person, all right? Let's put the position here, then I'm going to, once the person gets over there, I'll move it over a little bit like this, and over here like this. I think they're still over there. So 
So this is really about the time. There we go. Now you can see their feet there, and then here they come on the screen. You see them, a white top, and look at how they slow down right there. Doesn't that seem like something a guilty per I mean, I'm just saying, that's what people do who are, they run, and then once they feel like they've cleared an area, they walk slowly to not draw attention to themselves. You don't think that that shows that? That this guy sprints and then stops on a dime? Come on, you guys. Look at that. So look how he's running right here. Like a kind of a jog, trying to get away from there. Kind of almost seems like it looked back. I can't tell for sure. But then look at that. Absolutely slow. And just kind of, you know, ha <laughs> ha. You know what I mean? Like that little, <laughs> you know, after you've ran away from the immediate area and now you're walking away slowly. And uh, if you guys could hit that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. Man, that's amazing. And this is at 9.55, the, almost the exact time his phone quit pinging off of towers, right? Isn't that about it? That's crazy. I was kind of surprised when people were talking about this earlier. They were just going, I don't know if that's him or not. Man, I, the obvious thing to me was, well, it's not because look at the white top he's got on. Full on white top here. And, you know, we, now we know that the card was even found. So here, the, let's look at it like this, you guys. So where he's running right in this shot is right here. I mean, we could probably even put on here that he ran from about right here here and then he sort of slows down in this area and he kind of just keeps going like that so just kind of that's where the um, person running and then they slow down and they start walking but look where he's coming from see the tiktoker found the ID or the uh, credit card, right around in this area here. Well, that means something happened to him here, doesn't it? I mean, it just does. He never made it out of this area. So he was right here, and then right after that, there's a guy sprinting <laughs> from right here, and then stops right here and goes... <laughs> there has to be something to that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just... <laughs> there, there has to be something to that. I, I normally don't jump on that kind of stuff, but man, that is, you're talking about in the same minute, um, come on, and thank you guys for getting me the link to that video, I needed to have that to be able to determine that, so appreciate that. I mean, sure, you know, uh, sure it could be somebody out exercising, you know, uh, the odds are so tremendously less, though, when you give, given the time that he was right here at 9.52 uh, to 9.53, his phone stopped pinging, like, right at that time, 9.55 or something, and then he is, um, then right after that, <laughs> like exactly the same moment in time, a person's running from right here and then stops and starts walking. So sure, I mean, it is possible it's somebody jogging, uh, but man, I mean, you know, we've seen weird things happen. It's very, it's, it's actually possible that it isn't, uh, has nothing to do with it, but man, what a coincidence that would be. You, you have to admit, that'd be a tremendous coincidence. All right, so anyways, what was the, um, let me see. What, does anybody have the exact time? Because I figure, I feel like it was around 9.55 when they said his phone last pinged off of a tower. Isn't that true? And isn't that amazing that it's the same minute? Like, 9.55, his phone quits pinging, and then at 9.55 and 18 seconds, this guy's sprinting away from the scene. Yeah, I mean, I can show it a thousand times. <laughs> 
I'm going to make another, I'll, I'm going to bring that back up again. I'll put the full video out again. So just watch it. Okay, let's see where that is. Hold on one second. Let me just get a bearing so I know exactly where that run started at. Or those. Is it that pole there? No. Might be a little bit further. That's where the camera is, so it has to be. Hmm. I can't. Uh... Now, let me let me look at this. There's one, two, three. There's a tree there. Hmm. I kind of need like to have another like that looks like the pole there but then what's this thing I don't know what that is I don't know what that is right there that looks like a tree right on the street uh, like that one you know that maybe something's missing um, maybe some, you know this is two years ago on here so we don't know uh, anyways he's running from right underneath here and then right around somewhere in this area he starts slowing down Let's see if that bench shows up on here. You know, it could be like a little bit further down, like if I went up. Because, you know, that is a, it's a lens, but it's uh, 180 degrees from here. So it seems like that, that would have to start. Uh, let's see. Like somewhere in more down in this area like this where he's running from doesn't change much but it's just a little bit further down <clears throat> okay so i'll play it without me scrubbing it back and forth all right so you're just watching this well that's what i was saying i was showing that that guy on the corner has a white shirt i don't know if he looks quite like that though I mean, one thing about this person is they, they, well, here's the thing. We know that wall is three feet tall, so they're not as tall as that. They're not six something. They look like they have uh, blue jeans on. And, you know, it's very possible <laughs> that this person is somebody that's just running around. But I just, man, the timing would be so ridiculous and then this person almost would have had to run by when this when it happened and don't you think it's weird that they stopped running right after they, they sort of cleared the area and then wanted to make because once you're running somebody might go hey what's going on what's wrong and now they're just walking really slow So what's down here? Is there something made out of glass right down here? Yeah, it feels like they were right here when they, yeah, all right. I don't think this guy's, this isn't him running right here. He's got a white shirt on and uh, blue pants. And it looks like a white long sleeve shirt. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. I, would, I think they would have seen it. I don't know how you would be able to determine who that was, but man, you got, you have to... You know what? Let me let me uh, zoom back out again. Well, let me. I'm going to bring in a, a whole new sequence with the full footage on it, and then we're going to go. What was that? Type that in again. What you wanted me to look? Yeah, the nine fifty nine. And okay. So here's the full footage. 
Yeah, okay, I see. So it's, it's actually filming much more down that way when he, the guy comes on. Not way more, but let me just uh, readjust this a little bit. All right, so now I see it. Okay, because there's the tower right there, right? And, you know, what's weird is that it seems like there's a missing... Something was added, or that tree is right there, a really tall tree. Maybe it's this one here. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so it starts just kind of like right there is where you see the guy running from. So hold on. I just want to get this part accurate, and then we'll move on. So that tower is right there. So it's the part we see him running and stopping from is a little bit further down. It's like about right, uh, right around in this area here. So just that short distance, probably sprinted and then cleared the area, stopped, slowed down, and started walking. All right. So what was that time again? You had up there. The 206, you're saying? What do you mean in 206? I don't know what you're saying. We, we don't have a 206. Well, what do you mean at 206? The video isn't even two hours long, so it can't be... Oh, wait, it is. I guess two hours and... You mean two hours and six minutes into the video? Okay, let me, let me do what the other guy wanted up there first, since he's the one that helped me get the... 59.30, so we have to go to 59. Oh, yeah, another guy standing there. Let's see. But was that somebody that also left the area? Yeah, a lot of these people... All right, let's just play it. 59.30 and 103. So here comes a guy from that general direction. Down in, it's really small though down here. All right, so we see that guy, and now let's go to 103. What do you want me to look at at 103? The car? I don't see anything. What am I looking at at 103? Yeah, I mean, his, his, he was really top-heavy guy. I mean, he's walking down, stumbling. He probably easily could fall over anything. That's what we were talking about. But now it seems like something more nefarious is happening. I mean, how did his credit card somehow make it onto shore right there. You know, I, mean, I guess if he fell and started stumbling and things were... I don't see anything at 103, so I'm going to move. Well, oh, you mean right there, these people walking? And all black there? I don't know. All right, let's go to the 206 when you, people said he came back. I think that's him right here. There, there's no such thing as 433 seconds. I'm looking. I'm wa I'm watching. That's not the same guy. 
<laughs> Jesus. Are you, are you guys kidding me? Maybe the guy in the background, though. Let's see. Okay, somebody's walking up. Let's see. Is that the same person? Does have a light top on coming? You're talking about right down here? Yeah, it's almost like they're looking in the water there. Why do you keep uh, saying that, South Dakota girl, over and over and over again? Like, every, you know, it's like everybody keeps typing in that he's six seven. He's not in, invincible. Now, we don't do all caps in here, you guys. Only uh, Richard Watts gets to do that. Well, the person's just standing there. I see somebody right here, but he didn't do anything. You guys keep saying he walked all the way back at 2.06 and there's nobody. You said he came back. I see somebody over there that, that you know, there's a lot of people walking by now, but he's already gone at this point. Well, no, the rest of the sentence is caps, Richard O'Brien. Did you see that up here? Look, I'll, I'll even put it on the screen. You see that? It's the whole thing was caps. Okay, dum-dum. You got to pay attention next time. Let's see. Didn't uh, the homeless guy say that uh, he found the shirt on the fence beca uh, before the bridge? So he would be shirtless if that was him north of the bridge. But I don't, I, don't, I don't actually believe, I mean, until law enforcement says that they found his shirt, I don't believe it. I do believe the credit card one because it was sort of the spontaneous thing and then there's a picture of it. I do believe that. I don't believe, I, I, right currently, I'm not sure I believe that there was, his shirt was found on a homeless person. Yeah, it could have, but um, how come there's somebody running briskly from the bridge right at the exact moment that his phone quit pinging, right? Let's see, Gray, do you have the last video of Riley under that bridge? That was last video. No, we, I don't think anybody has that one. I don't think anybody has that. All right, so should we do the uh, the phone lines, you guys? There it is. What do you guys think about this? I don't know what you're talking about, Bren. Uh, nobody's interested, okay? Yeah, fine, ignore everybody. <laughs> Man, here we go, man. People just get so bent out of shape. When I'm supposed to read one of 1,639 people's comments, and I'm trying to do a show, okay? Don't feel, um, you know, like somebody's ignoring you, all right? You're not the center of the universe. I can tell you that right now. Uh, we're just doing a show here, trying to get shit done. Hello, 605. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Who's this? This is South Dakota Girl. <laughs> <laughs> the one with all caps. All right. What's going on? Yeah, and I did not know that my phone was on that, so I apologize. Oh, but somebody said it was only your name in caps, so you just admitted it did do that. All right. So anyways, what do you, what yeah, do you got? Yeah, it did got? do that. What I was going to tell you is I was watching another one, and there was a guy on a bike, mm -hmm. like, but he first hit his head and fell and then kept walking, uh -huh. and then... Yeah. But where you're at right now, yeah. at some point, that same guy with the reflector goes by. Yeah, again. I saw that. Yeah, I mean, I the saw same, it. But why, why is that it. significant? He's just on a bike. I just, he was at the beginning. 
Well, he, he, and then he was also well, he rode by the, I bet you he's on every single camera that he's on. I bet it goes by before, right? I bet you it's, uh, like something like, this, uh, 52 or something, right? When he hit the pole and went down that first road right in the beginning. Yeah, I saw him there, but then he probably went right by I the other right cameras. Here. I bet, I bet you he's on the exact other cameras too. You know, like I bet he's on the same exact cameras that he's on. He's just going to do it way before. Yeah. I'm probably just confused my time. I'm sorry, but I was just watching that, and I thought I would just, because the first time he looked right up at the camera, the guy on the bike, and then that's right when he started stumbling after he hit his head. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what time the bike drives by, but I would assume it'd be quite a bit before he got there because he's on a bike. So probably like 9.50-ish, right. something like that. Okay, well, I just wanted to let you know. I'm sorry about the cats. <laughs> oh, what's so big deal? Hey, so when he hit his... Thanks for when he, when he was walking, though, um, you know, I don't think... I actually don't think he hit his head on that pillar. I think he just hit his face on the ground. It looks like it because he's... The angle, but it seems like he's far enough away where... But he's, he, like, holding his head. Yeah, like he... Kind of, like, just yeah. holding it. Yeah, it looks like he, like, smashes his head into the ground. I don't think the guy on the bike has anything to do with anything. If anything, it's the guy that was standing um, on the the corner. You know, when he walked across the street. Let me see. Let me just play that again. Right when you pulled that up, really good. That was really good how you did that. That was been, that's never been seen. I don't like this right here. So look at this guy right here, long sleeve, white shirt, and then let's go back to. So just take a look at this look of this person here. I don't know if that's a mm -hmm. girl or a guy, actually. I can't tell. But, um, then you go back to this video. Really one, watching. The one that we enhanced here. And then, I don't know. I mean, look at that. That's, uh, you know, white top. He could have followed him. You're right. I mean, because he was really kind of watching him. And he was. it looked like he was taking something out of his pocket and that guy was watching him. Yeah, and somebody mentioned that on the first show, and I was like, I don't know, come on. I mean, if he's the guy's just standing there. But then later in the show, I was like, well, yeah, maybe I threw that one aside too quickly. It's and, just so wow. damn sad, man, at this yeah. world. Wow. Yeah, it's one of those preventable things. It's very similar to... But the, and the guy, his friends also called him, said his card, and when they called in 911, I heard that. They said his card was in his room. Like, how could that even be possible? And what, he has an card? Apple watch on, an Apple 15 phone, his friend said. Like, mm -hmm. What's interesting about when this guy walks by in this video, it seems like it's, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. And he's like, almost like he's messaging. I mean, it just right. could be what it looks like, but that's just what, what it is, looks like. What is know? he doing right there, though? Like, what is he, when he stops and he's looking down and that guy's looking at him, is he looking, at, he's got his phone in his hand. Yeah, well, he picks up the phone after he sees him walking like this because he's like an easy mark at that point, a target. Right. So and, what, and what's he doing? What's he doing? Staring at him like he stops for a minute. Right, but like, and it's also just what is he doing? I mean, why why is he somebody that's at a crosswalk and he's just standing, not going across the crosswalk? Right. You know, he's he, he almost looks like he's literally looking. Watch this. In this shot here, he's facing the other way. See this? Now yeah, watch he, when he comes by. He's literally watching him the entire time and immediately pulls out his phone and starts doing something. Weird. So I think it's pretty, <laughs> it yeah. makes that a hell of a lot more interesting. Oh, he was know? watching him from like, yeah. okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So we don't know if that's what's it, going on. It's just what it looks like currently. All right, so. Well, he, and see, but he has his cell phone in his hand. He's messed up, and he's got a nice phone. He's got his Apple Watch on, and, mm. you know, that guy's watching, yep. you know? like. Yeah, no, but it's just... I just he's got think, his phone in his hand right there. Yeah, I know I know he does. That's not really, to me, that's not really significant. Right? We all know Riley's phone. Well, I mean, phone, the guy sees it. Yeah. The guy that's significant is the guy in the white shirt. That's the only thing I'm looking at is because... Right, the guy in the white shirt watching He keeps watching looking him, at him, like, but then he pulls his phone, his phone out. Then he pulls his phone out, and obviously, yep. you, know, you know, Riley has his phone. He's looking at it. He might be looking at, like, Google Maps where he's trying to get directions, how to yep. get somewhere, and he's trying to follow it, but he's just so intoxicated. 
that he can't. And the guy's watching that, sees his Apple Watch, Apple phone, he's goofy, you know, and, and just turns around and says, we got one, you know. There's mm-hmm. probably people out there that watch for people like him. Who knows, you know. Yeah. So sometimes things are obvious, but they're not real. It just looks like that. But I, I, I don't know. Just given everything else now, uh, is it right. possible that that guy was following him from a distance? And you know, the guy in the all. Or they could have other people along the way. Yeah. I well, mean, the, you know. well, well, the thing is, the guy that's running after him has that same outfit: the white top and then yeah. uh, the bottom. You know. You know, that's that's the problem. I mean, that's I think they'd I, have him on cameras. He's, where's that white shirt guy now? On they should watch him on the cameras where he went. You know, he turned around and. Yep. All right. Well. Anyway, thank you for doing what you do. Sorry about the cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. No problem. All right. See you. Have a good one. Take Next care of yourself. Bye. All right. Bye. Hey, thanks, pirate girl. How do you know he was Snapchatting on his phone? I think he was looking at a map. See, when you look at this and he stumbles over, let's go back up to there. See, look where he, he stumbles from. He's way over there, and I don't know if he actually made it where his head hit this thing. Because there's a from that angle, it looks closer, but I don't know. I don't know. This is Gray. Who's this? Hello. 941. Yes, this is Christy. Turn down the audio. Yeah. What's going on, Christy? Um, I'm calling. I was looking at a couple of the old pictures of Riley that they have up. Mm-hmm. And in all of them that he has a shirt like this, he has a white shirt on under it. I'm wondering if he didn't have his credit card in his front pocket, took mm-hmm. his shirt off. And he is the guy in the picture running. Yeah, except it looks like the person has long sleeve white shirt in the guy that's running. And oh yeah, I mean that's the that's the only problem. There's no like arm like white of his arms. And I know, I'm looking at this video. I don't see if he has a white shirt underneath. Maybe it's a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I was trying to look at it closer too. So I'm looking at him right here. I don't. I just don't see anything that indicates that he has a shirt on underneath that. But he might. Yeah. yeah, if you go back and look at all his older pictures with these polo type shirts that he's wearing or mm-hmm. button up shirts, yeah. he's always got a white shirt under it. And then the mm-hmm. one that you that was taken that night, you can't see if he does or not. Okay, but let me. Let, but here's the thing: is I, I mean, I'll, I'll throw out the like you pretend you're the defense attorney saying that, and I'm going to say, well, how did his credit card make it all the way down underneath the bridge by the water if that's him running up there? I was I was thinking maybe he came he went down that way towards the water stumbled mm-hmm. down that way mm-hmm. his credit card fell out and he comes stumbling back up if he has a white shirt on under it mm-hmm. but if that's long sleeve then that couldn't be him yeah but I mean I so guess I'm, what you're saying is possible like he let's say he did stumble because that was my original theory a few nights ago where he was walking he's tall and he sort of flipped over and he fell down there mm-hmm. and then somehow he lost his credit card down there and then he then he goes back up he climbs out makes his way back up and he starts running again and then something happens right. after that is that what you're saying yeah. yeah that's what i'm wondering yeah i mean i guess it's possible yeah can't see i'm hoping not. they're cleaning up all this footage really soon and I'm gonna get it released and see if they can catch on to something man he was just in a really bad place you know i mean he's completely intoxicated it's weird oh, yeah. though it almost seems oh, like the very. fall made him worse because he was running pretty normal and he seemed to sort of just but then he tripped himself <laughs> you know that that was the part he like literally tripped himself and then he hit his head and then he gets up and you know th- at this point he seems like he's really having a hard time maintaining his equilibrium and I would even think if he had his credit card loose on him, it should have fallen out, you know, around that point. Mm-hmm. Depending if he just had it tucked in the front pocket of that shirt or. So it is kind of weird 
or yeah. or maybe it did fall out at that point. Somebody found it, realized this kid's missing, doesn't want to get caught with it, so they threw it. <laughs> and they just randomly threw it right where his phone stopped pinging. Stop pinging, yeah, that would be convenient. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, the timing of the person running, um, you know, obviously yeah, it, could be, it could be anything, but here's the guy on the bike that everybody's talking about. Like, yeah, yeah. There's definitely a lot to unpack with this case, and... Mm -hmm. I'm hoping they're going to find him soon enough, but something's telling me he's in the water. Well, that's what I think, too. And they didn't start looking into the water for uh, quite a few days. And at that point, he could be miles downstream. Yeah, and I think it's really awfully convenient that they found a whole other body today, but they haven't found his when they've been actively searching for this kid. Well, I don't know if that would, would when you say convenient. I think it's just you know, random, you know, here's a body. Oh, wow. Right. We thought maybe it'd be his. You know, it wasn't. Yeah, kind of makes you wonder how many people die in that river. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've had cases where people are looking around for a uh, a person and they find multiple other dead bodies while looking for that other person. Right. It's just, man, I mean, I think there's just a lot of bodies all over the place. and <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's kind of weird, actually. It's just... <laughs> strange that's you know that's possible especially in an area like that yeah so all right well, all right well, well thank you you have a good night you too thanks a lot appreciate it Bye. i can't tell if this is oh. here let me i almost want to look at something again let's look at this and see if we can see anything But hey guys, we're about halfway through the show. If you want to help support the Gray Hughes Investigates YouTube channel, I would appreciate it. Become a channel member. Uh, you know, if you want to send a super chat with a message, that'd be great. Um, anything. Help support the channel. Hit the like button. Share and subscribe. But with 1,629 people, we are still quite a bit short of the uh, normal low goal. All right. See, that looks like it's a long shirt to me. I don't know why. Um, what do you guys think? It just feels like it's a full, solid, white sweatshirt. In this one. What do you think? All right, let me get this one. Hey, 615, you're in the freak zone. <laughs> who's this? Hey, Gary. Hello, who's it's this? It's Christy Cox. Hey, it's Christy Cox. I'm calling because the video I'm watching where you're showing that white band and that guy in the white shirt turning around watching him. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, when you show that white band, there's the guy that was wearing his shirt pulling that wagon up the street. You can see him right before the white van pulls up. He's pulling. He's walking across the street. Which one are you talking about? And you can see, oh. I'm talking about the lady called and said she was down feeding the people at the tent, the homeless tents. Yeah. And she said that um, the guy that pulls the wagon had a had the, uh, Riley's shirt on. She described Riley's shirt to a T, with a well, black yeah. pocket, well, white yeah, I know, shirt. But, but it's easy to dirty. but it's easy to describe a shirt when you're you yeah see it on yeah the news I understand every that second yeah. Yeah, but um, he's talked to the police. He's told them, but he's nobody knows he's right there before Riley comes through until I just saw it. Mm. But he I mean, it's like he don't know what they're talking about. Well, there's other people that pull he's, wagons. He might not be the only one. He's going another direction, so he doesn't appear to have anything to do with what happened to Riley. Would you agree with that? I mean, right. he's completely walking in another direction with a wagon. Didn't even see Riley. And no, I'm thinking the guy. I'm thinking that the guy walking up the street with the wagon, mm -hmm. the guy you saw with the white shirt. I believe that's who you believe it is. The one that was running through the woods back there. I think that's who that was. But I think him and the guy with the wagon are the ones that robbed him. But I think his maybe his guys, since they're not as drunk as he was, maybe mm -hmm. they had something to do with his drugging. I don't know. Yeah. 
I just hope they find this poor child. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. It's there goes the, the guy with the wagon. It's like about the worst thing in the world. Well, we played that about 30 seconds ago, so you're way behind on the video. But the yeah. guy that we... I'm sorry. <laughs> the guy that we... Um, uh, now, I can't, now I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> but anyways, all right. Well, thanks. Uh, thank you for calling in. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, bye. Oh, by the way, thank you up there to uh, Romeo's heart who said whoa this case just got a little bit creepier fabulous job on that sprinting guy gray i'm a little behind watching at 1.75 trying to catch up to you all in real time well cool to see you romeo's heart and thank you to jersey red who said you do an excellent job thank you and chris 22 said the guy running had white shoes on he has dark shoes so i think you're right gray it is someone else. Yeah. So let, let's take a look at another. Let's go back again on this video and look at that guy one more time that's standing there. What color were his shoes? Oh, and look at that. He's got that little whiteness on him. Where the hell? See that? <laughs> that guy's not looking too good. I'm just saying. I don't know. It might not be him at all because the guy in the video, I don't know if it's the camera, you know, because they're distorted lenses sometimes. So, but the person running appears to have pretty long legs compared almost ridiculously though. I mean, at, at look at this shot right here. You're going to tell me this guy's legs are like six feet tall and then here's a body, you know? What does it look like in this area? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks, it appears to me like the hoodie whiteness here is, isn't, as long as it is in uh, in this video here. Well, I mean, yeah, it's hard to say. Just kind of depends on the angle. This guy could have longer legs, but the camera is up above, so it's making everything seem a little shorter, right? Like if the camera was straight on, like the other camera is, he might appear to have longer legs, because even Riley doesn't really look. You know, he looks thin and tall here, but, you know, from the angle, if you didn't see other people around him, you wouldn't be able to tell. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? All right, 715, you're on. Hey, Grace Ivan. How are you? Hey, not too bad. What's going on? Um... Uh, forgive my ignorance about the case. Like, do we know how Riley got out onto the street by himself? Was he out with friends? Like, sorry yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we. <laughs> well, I put out a video earlier today. We talked about it on two shows ago, and I even brought it up on this show, where he's in, he's, know, in, he's in a bar. Years, he's in, he's in a bar with uh, his fraternity friends, and he only had one drink, but they kicked him out. Because he was he was acting, they didn't like the way he was acting. They say, I mean, we don't know. Well, that part of the story well, we is that part of the story is actually irrelevant, though. It's like he gets out on the well, street we and he's moving. Well, we all know college kids pregame, right? Like we. Yeah, we, yeah, we said that at the beginning of the show, though. So you're just kind of repeating. I said we do, you know, pre-funk. We used to call it where we're drinking, you know, a lot of alcohol, and then you go out and you're already drunk before you show up, right? Yeah, and so his behavior, like it's it's clear, like. Like it just it it just blows my mind, and I'm not shaming anybody, but like it just blows my mind how so many people saw this guy tripping over himself, falling down, obviously running around intoxicated, and mm -hmm. nobody said, "Hey, man, like where do you got to go? Where do you got to be?" You know, and so it just like well, I hate well, that. Well, especially like, after he I like was walking happened. and he crashed his head, like and he's on the ground. You think some car yeah. would have went whoa and called nine one one and said, "Hey, there's a guy that fell on the ground." You know something, right? Yeah, yeah, like, like, or even just like a innocent bystander, like, or, a, or or a person walking by. Like, you can tell when there's somebody out of their mind, out of control, drunk. And you're like, to me, if I saw somebody stumbling around like that, I'd be like, hey man, like, where do you have to be? Where do you have to go? Like, how can I get you there? Like, because there is nothing that's a bigger mark in this world than a solo drunk person especially that stature because like yeah he's tall but like let's just face it that he's guy skinny. 
nobody's afraid of that guy when they see him. Like, and so, like, you know, I wonder if he's bleeding. Just, I wonder if they, because he keeps, like, he even looks at his hands, you know. I wonder if they looked around on the street if there was blood drops on the ground here. Because he keeps looking at, he keeps putting his hand on his face, and he's, like, looking at his hand, checking it out, you know. Why not rob him of everything he has, right? Like, yeah. if you're if you're really targeting this guy and you really like want him to be your just random mark that you're, you know, predatorially, you know, stalking down as just, cause believe me, as you well know, you know, Portland's got plenty of them. And so does every other city and small town in America. There are people who literally roam the streets around bar time or around bar clothes, or even at midnight or later looking for drunk solo people stumbling around like that. Cause they're easy marks. But what they want is they want their money. They want their credit cards. They want the valuables. Mm -hmm. So why, you know what I mean? Like, why does this credit card pop up right where his phone's, like, to me that seems like that, not that I'm, like, declaring anything, but that fact seems personal at that point because why not take that credit card? Why not take, you know. Well, maybe because a lot of people, well, no, because I, I've been saying that earlier about, I mean, like the credit card thing. Okay. I would say that the credit card, you know, maybe he had cash on him, and the credit card leads to where they do investigations, and you can see, see that somebody used it. You know, so some well, people are smart enough to know that part. You know, maybe not a homeless people there, but okay. there might have been somebody that was smart enough not to use that. But if you're desperate, you go for anything. You know how that goes, right? Like so, like yeah. it's just it's just weird to me. Like there's like so many like conflicting sort of like facts to this that like seem to contradict what we know about yeah i mean you know, i always I thought he just sort of well, i always thought yeah. he just went down and he fell into the water and went into the river and went downstream and that's what it seemed like yeah. but man now that you see that there's this person running from where he his phone quit pinging at like 9 55 and there's a person sprinting from that area and then, yeah. sl and then slows down and then walks slowly i mean that that nobody <laughs> what are the odds that somebody was out well, for a jog and right when we see them they were running fast and they he slowed down. Blackout. That's what somebody does me, when you're running from somebody. Yeah. To me, he's in a blackout. That's how he's acting. Like we've all seen people blacked out. Like you're basically. Yeah, I, I was like talking about the other person. I was talking about point. the other person, like, though, not him. The person that was running yeah. away from. I'm not talking about him. I don't know if you just got here just now, but there's a guy that was running away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the okay, crime okay. scene, wearing a white shirt. You know, the, I guess I'll say the crime scene area that I think is the, between the bridge. He's running away with a white sweatshirt on and, or, you know, white top on and then jeans and then sprints and then stops and then starts walking slowly. You know, that whole. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. I mean, that's a little weird. Well, that's exactly at the time his phone dies. I mean, right in that frame. You know? Yeah. That's, that's a little weird. Yeah. It, it's very weird. But like, like I said, like, we also have to account for the fact that at that time of night, there are plenty of people walking around in blackouts who are acting out of pocket and out of fool. And so, like, it, it, that's that's what makes the police job so hard is because there are so many zombies walking around at that time of night that it's hard to piece together who's involved and who's not, in my opinion. And to me, he's acting almost like a zombie, like the, the victim is almost acting like a zombie. He's running, he's tripping, he's falling, he doesn't know where he is. And so, like, like just just a public PSA. If your friend who's acting out of pocket leaves the bar in that condition, please get him home. Please get him a ride. Please get him a friend. Get him anything. Get him an escort. Get him whatever you got to do. Like, do whatever. <laughs> just get the guy home, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, don't let him wander around as an easy mark. And that's the last thing I'll say. Thanks, Gray. All right. Have a good one. I agree with that. Yeah, and also, the uh, fraternity brothers is what I really care about. I don't really, you know, people weren't random me on the street. We always get upset when people just walk by people. But what's worse is having people that call themselves friends that aren't following you. It has nothing to do with the case, but if you want to give a PSA, it should be that everybody looks out for everybody, and if it means you just don't get to have as much fun as you wanted that night, well, so be it. Help out your friend who needs you. All right. It wasn't. It's not up to all the random people driving around in the city. It's up to the friends that they went out with. Okay, that's the the problem. All right.
uh, eight something or other, you're on the you're on you're in the gray zone. Hey, <laughs> this is Tennessee Sean. Hmm? I got a a theory. When he's when there's the pixels or whatever running around the band, there's someone running around the band. It kind of looks like you know how men like they wear tank tops, t-shirts, or something under like silky dress shirt bothers not being nasty, but it bothers their nipples to wear uh, t-shirts or tank tops under them. And it kind of looks like someone has ripped off the shirt and it's down to the t-shirt because then you can see the black a little bit like hanging down past the the blue jeans. The well, black well, well, the I don't know part of the What shirt. are you referring to? His shirt? Yeah, like they ripped off his shirt. I don't know what you're talking about. He, who? Who? I mean, where, where are you seeing this? The guy running or what? Yeah, yeah, the guy running. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it could be. On the white, you know, with, with the white teeth, because it's white or whatever, and then you'll see black, like... It's hmm. going down like past the butt, a little black, the black, and it kind of looks like it might be part of the jeans or something, but it's not. It looks like maybe like they ripped down the dress shirt, hmm. and that's why he's, you know, running because he's, you know, in his T-shirt or whatever, and they might have grabbed his phone, his wallet, and blah, blah, blah. Hmm. That's why the card was found there in his watch. That's where I, everything stopped pinging there. They didn't know what they needed to do there, and that's why he took off running. And it kind of even looks like there's, like, no shoes in it when you get, like, in a pixel light a certain way. Like, there's the socks, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it might just be uh, my eyes. I mean, you can't really see much with it because when they run that well, nobody, band, Nobody's but, following him, though. <laughs> Whoever that is running, nobody's following him. They seem like they're sort of no. a, a rogue... Uh, I'm not sure which part no, of the video I think you're they, talking I about. I think they got under the bed. Right, but when he, uh, the person that's running, if you think that's him, then where are the people, wouldn't they be following him? Or they just sort of let him run away? But okay, then he, there got what they wanted. Yeah, there, there got uh, what they wanted. But then he disappeared a different way, like somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, then after, uh, like, Maybe yeah. he probably fell over. Into that must the have been a really that would have been a wrong. really bad night for him. That he first got sort of mugged. Basically, they took his stuff and they right. let him run. And then he then he died some other way. That would be amazing. I could just that would be incredible. If I just don't see a homeless people like killing them right underneath the bridge. I mean, bridge is. I mean, there would be more than. I just think there would be some evidence. I think they just, like, ganged around him, got what they wanted from him, and he just took off running, you know, away from him. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's how the credit card store ended up right there in that area. The phone ping stopped in that area. Everything else stopped in that area. Yeah. Okay. But it totally favors him and his, the way his gate was. Yeah. All right. Coming around that bend. I mean, it's okay. just a theory. I was thinking about how possible. He I mean, it's possible fight. that's him. You know, definitely possible. Because yeah. men always. I mean, ninety percent of men will wear white. Maybe he switched into a uh, a white after somebody stole his the, shirt. He switched into a white shirt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or they no yeah. they when men wear dress shirts, you say they wear a white tank top or a tee mm -hmm. underneath yeah. a dress shirt. It looks thicker than because that. Because it bothers it. Yeah. it bothers them for the friction mm -hmm. to rub up against the okay. chest and All stuff right. area. Alright. Well hey, uh, thank you for your uh, your ideas. I gotta get a whole bunch of other people are trying to call in so I gotta get those okay, too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah, I, th I think everybody out there thinks that uh, there is, a, is there anybody that doesn't think he went into the water? So everybody keeps acting like they're sleuthy saying, I think he went into the water. I think he went into the water. I think everybody thinks he went into the water. It's just now how he got into the water could be into question a little bit, okay? Uh, it feels like uh, there's some uh, possibility has gone up dramatically that something else could be at play here, given the fact that you have somebody 
running right from where he was. So, I mean, let's go look at it again from the top, everybody. So here we go. He gets here at 9.52 to 9.53. His phone quit pinging at 9.55, something like that, right? Then at 9.55 and some odd seconds, we see a guy sprinting from right here like this. And then slow down, walking slow. That means they were running from over here. They are running, running, running. Right from where he went missing. You don't think that's a little bit just enough to where you go, whoa, I, we need to look at that. Like if I was the police... I would have to look at that really hard and start trying to track that figure on cameras that go elsewhere. Because that is, and, and guess what? They said they could not see him any further after he was spotted right here at 952, 953. So this person running here, just based on what the police said, isn't him. Unless they never saw this footage that was right here. Guy, the homeless man said he was walking with. Mm -hmm. No, because it doesn't ha doesn't have one. I mean, like, you can see him the best about right there, right? And yeah, right in this area, though. You can see the person has some, some sort of shiny shoe. But it's interesting how high the weight, and, and like, look how high that is there, the waist compared to the top. And then here it sort of gets more normal-ish. It almost seems like, you know, when you look at it like this, <laughs> sometimes it looks like, it's like a, a taller person. I don't know. Almost like they have, you know, those knickers, you know, those knicker type shoes that are, or pants that go up kind of like past your knees. I don't know why it looks like that to me. Right in there. But that could just be, you know, there's so much pixelation and crap that goes on. When you don't have a lighting and it's like that, you get the, um, hmm. Now, I, I don't think that's him at all. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know who it is, but the timing of this is crazy. I mean, this is 9.55, right when his phone died. Right, who's uh, Somebody just tried calling in. I can get that one. I don't know. It looks like long pants right here, but... This is Gray. Who's this? Uh, hi, it's Deanna. Deanna, you must be from Oregon. Oregon, as people like to say, other than I people. sure am. <laughs> well, that's where I live. <laughs> yeah. uh, I noticed we had the same same prefix <laughs> or yeah, there you go. area code. I mean, uh, a couple things for you. Um, I don't know what you can do with the programs that you have, but I've really been wondering about going back and zooming in on the guy that you found suspicious. Well, you can't with keep the zooming white shirt in. On. Yeah, there's a certain point huh? where zooming in is diminishing returns. You know, it just doesn't work like that. You only you only have a specific number of pixels to work with, and once you start zooming in, well, it becomes useless. Too far. If you get okay. too far into it, yeah. Because what are okay. you going to ask? That's, what do you? What, that's too bad. Well, I notice he has reflectors on his shoes, and the guy that's running clearly has a reflector type thing on his shoe. Yeah, are you talking about the guy at the so, crosswalk? Uh, he sort of has reflectors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's who I was talking about zooming in on. Yeah, something seems really distorted about this person over there because their legs look way too long really but then there's some shots like that one they sort of it gets back to normal so it's just it's hard the to sidewalk could be a little bit harder i mean higher mm -hmm. where you can see is the reflecting parts of his shoes 
but you don't see it in other shots like it dips down i don't know i thought i would i thought i would um mention that uh to try to capture a better photo if you would like a photo shot of the guy that was watching him Mm -hmm. uh on the corner Uh, and the other thing is these cars that are going by um maybe one maybe one of those cars has video rolling that could have gotten clearer video of the runner yeah those are my two my two points well cool that's all i had i might try to do something uh with what you just said so keep watching that's great yeah i mean i hope you can all right thanks Love your show. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. I just want to see basically what this, uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how tall, you know, this isn't really a, a great thing, I just want to, see, it, the problem is it's it shot at an angle down, so his legs are going to look way shorter. See, it's like, look at how long his shirt goes. Well, in there, it, but look, the legs are just so long. But we just don't know because we're looking at him down at a 45-degree angle. That's the problem. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. It might not be the same person. But, like, right there, it's good. So, right there, you see a longer bit of shirt see that like in that one but it seems like in some of these it's distorted it's weird and then right over there it looks somewhat normal ish I guess we'll have to see we'll have to see I don't know and he's got like a hat on I think in this one but you can't see enough detail to make out the hat or even a head really (laughs) you can actually see him still moving around way over there see that the shadow of him way over there so he keeps on moving Uh, Let's see. The contrast of the runner in front of the pool with the block look more clear. Yeah. I don't see any anything there. You see his shadow on the pool there, but Look at that. That's his, that hat the guy was wearing. <laughs> Look at right there. Oh my God, it's Trump's uh, hair. I can see it. Look at that. It's amazing. Oh, by the way, uh, not to be political, but did you guys see the, the new thing today where Trump was talking about the, um, what was it, um, Oh yeah, the the auto industry, and he goes, 
Man, if I don't win, it's going to be a bloodbath. And he's talking about the auto industry. And CNN and everybody said, look at that. He's saying there's going to be a bloodbath in America if we don't win. See how they do that? Doesn't that make you sick, you guys? I mean, it's just... All right, here we go. Uh, 931, you're on. Hello. You on? Nine three one. Did you get there? Yeah, I guess you missed it. Uh, eight four five. Hi, Gray. It's Jennifer Cardillo. How are you? Hey, not too bad. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, I just thought it was odd seeing as this is not like a small hometown by any means. This is a huge city. When they did the um. Um, press release. It was a homicide um, detective that was doing the presser. And, I mean, even in the small hometown I'm from, we have our own missing persons agency that handles missing person cases Mm -hmm. when there's no incline of any sort of nefarious acts, right? So, I guess my question is, (laughs) why... What would what would be your perspective on why that would be? Why homicide would would be involved immediately, especially since they kept saying no foul play? Because uh, a lot of times they investigate it. They want to use that level of investigation to investigate. Like if you didn't do that, you just sort of have. I, I, you know. I don't. know, It doesn't bother me. Right, and I and I understand what you're saying, but but he kept repeating even in the presser that they weren't going about it in that kind of a way because there was okay. nothing to indicate. But what what's bothering you about it? I guess. It, uh, well, I guess because where I'm from, it, you know, it's just everybody has a a, a way of going about missing persons in their mm-hmm. own even small hometowns, like I said. And with Nashville, you would think it would just be a a bit bigger over there. Um, it's just, I don't know. It was just something that crossed my mind the, the moment I did see that. Um, it was just interesting. I think I it's kind of weird that they didn't find, like, the, when they went down searching, the search people found nothing, but some TikTokers found the uh, credit bizarre. card. <laughs> That's a little bothersome, so, you know. It, it's so bizarre. I, and how did yeah. nobody even find that? You know what I mean? It's just, there's, I didn't think this case would turn into this, to be honest with you. Uh, you didn't think what? what was that last part? Something I like didn't think that the case would turn into such complex dynamics here. I thought it was, you know, kind of a simple... Like somebody fell in the life. river. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was thinking when we did the first show. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. he was walking here. He's tall. He's stumbling all over the place. He probably fell over. It's a really mm-hmm. steep bank. And he rolled down, he's in the river. So, I mean, it's still in mm-hmm. play, but Makes it seems like sense. now there's, yeah. it just feels like now there, it's possible there's something else going on. I mean, especially since he went missing in a homeless encampment. You know, that sort of brings into play some nefarious actors, not saying all home. Well, I mean, even if I was saying all homeless people are nefarious, people get upset. But I don't think that. I think that <laughs> there is this no, homeless I, I, area I, I, underneath I, the bridge. And, um, you know, some of those people are hardcore, you know, mm-hmm. hardened yep. people out there that who knows what would happen. Who would, who've been, you know, unfortunately homeless their whole life, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, that makes total you sense. You know, some people choose um, to be homeless their whole life. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And believe it or not, people go, yeah. that's not true. Great. No, it absolutely is. You can a- even ask them, they'll tell you. <laughs> I've seen the interviews. I've yeah. seen so many documentaries on that. Actually, it blows yeah. my mind. But yeah, no, mm-hmm. that's that's a that's a fact and a half right there. Um, yeah, I was just that one really stuck out at me about like the homicide investigator and uh, him repeating, you know, no nefarious mm-hmm. sources, anything, and uh, I was just wondering why that was. Yeah, well, um, um, I, yeah, I, I, I really, really wasn't <laughs> seeing the complexity of this case turning into this. Um, and it's, and you know what? And it might not be complex. Well, it might still not be complex, you know. That's the thing. It could just be well, that's that what I mean. all this I'm, stuff I'm is I'm luck. I'm trying to remain open that this could be very well. I mean, again, I will say this is Nashville. This is not a small little hometown. It very well could be coincidence that, you know, 
we see a guy running for whatever freaking reason um and it and it's it could be just coincidence that it's around that same time frame right i mean mm-hmm. i try to remain open to just that yeah yeah well you know but thanks for yeah. uh thanks for your show thanks freak <laughs> and uh <laughs> right. i will uh, what, to what, you guys what, what's your name again what's your name again i forgot when you called in Gen- oh you like to call me jennifer cardio oh yeah that's cardio that's right <laughs> but, but it's not right it's cardillo come on that's, it's cardillo that's not really though listen, come on listen let me tell you something my <laughs> father heard that he would slam the freaking phone through the kitchen if he heard me we would get say the that? bill collectors you know like the whatever at dinner time he's like it's cardillo and just slam the phone through the but what was it originally <laughs> come on it cannot be that, that's of spelling course, i know uh, listen i know to tell him that. Okay. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. But <laughs> anyway, right. love right. the show. All right, That's thanks. awesome. Thanks. All right, see you. Bye-bye. Jennifer Cardillo. Man, I almost said Dio again. Oh, man. Is it confirmed someone has his... I don't know. I don't think it's been confirmed. Somebody just said, oh, I saw this guy wearing his shirt. I mean, how do we know that, right? How do we know that? So it's always good to, uh, if we go back and for people that are just getting here, so if you look at it like this, this is the bar that he was at. He got kicked out of the bar at 9.35. He walks down the street following this red line. Then he turns right onto uh, Church Street. Then he stumbles and falls and lands on the ground right in this area right there. Then he continues to walk down. And, um, you know, so that first surveillance shot is this one where he stumbles. The next one is right here. He's walking along, and there's that little opening right there. And that is right there. There's the opening. So he's walking by. And then right after that, he's picked up. At this intersection, that's where the guy wearing has the white sweatshirt on, seems to get on his phone right when he walks by and he's scoping him out being drunk. So he walks by right there and that spot is, we scroll forward and that's right here as he crosses right there. Right? And he stumbles on away and he continues around like this and walks this direction. It's a five minute walk from that crosswalk to this bridge over here. And he would have got there at approximately, you know, 9.32-ish, or 52-ish, just like they say. So 9.52 to 9.53, he was seen on another surveillance camera in this area. And then his phone quits pinging at 9.55, And then at 9.55 and some odd seconds, there's a person running away this direction and then slows down and starts walking. Nothing to see here. So that's weird. (laughs) Okay, so you just look at it like that. That's a little strange. Hey, freaks, this would be a good day to give uh, give some memberships out, man. Look at this. And would you guys hit that like button for me, please? Uh, It's really easy. You just take your finger out and you press the button right... Now, I wanted to, hit that like button, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, hit that like button, 40, 40, 45, 50, do I hear 60, do I hear 70, 75, 80, hit that like button, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 25, 50, 35, 40, 35, 50, 35, 40, 35, 50, 35, 40, 35, 50, 35, 40, 35, 50, 35, 50, 35, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, See if we can, you know, get the goal up there. We're just barely at it currently. Uh, we don't know who it was that was running. That's the the thing. There was somebody running away from, quote, the crime scene. You know, if there was a crime, right in the same minute that his phone stopped pinging. Uh, that has to be significant to anybody that has a logical mind. Now, if it it could just be that it, they're not, it's not related. But man, 
it makes it way more likely that it is related given the timing and the movement. I mean, sprinting and then stopping and then sort of walking really slow. Right, Ivan, right, Ivan, right, Ivan. Everybody knows it could be just some random, random, you, you, you don't pay attention though, you know, that's the thing. All right, so let's see. So the odds are he's in the water. I think he's in the water, yeah. Let's see. Then whatever happened happens fast. Yep. So I think to me it seems like the person running away has some sort of information or he knows something about what just took transpired. It just seems like even if they weren't running right there, they would have been walking right as something happened to him. I mean, because about a minute before that, you're in between the two bridges, minute and a half even. So you're like 953 and something you're in the middle of the two bridges hey thanks for gifting interstellar trucker if he got kicked out after one drink it's a bit odd well they said he was already intoxicated so it wasn't yeah so he like we said before you know he likely, like we used to always do in college, is drink a whole bunch of drinks before you go out. Usually, though, before he went to a party, you know, not before he went out to a bar, because then you go to a bar and you still stay there the same amount of time that you would have. Mm -hmm. So just think about it. Here, let's do a, um, okay, let me get the exact time of that again. So this is the original footage right here. And there it is. There's the person right there. They're moving away right over there. And so that is at, you know, 55. And let me scroll back. They just show up. Man, that, if they were in that light, that would have been so good. Man, that's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad that car wasn't just a little bit slower. That would have been amazing. Hey, thank you so much, Tamster. Haven't seen you in a while. Look at that, it's not 59, 30, and 14 seconds. Okay. 59, so that would be um, 9, 59, wait, that's not it. That's not even the right one, right? That's a different person, sorry. It's over here. I scrolled it too far. I was looking for that light. It was so perfect. So it's going to be 9.54 right here. That was the other person. Not sure where they came from. I think they came from underneath the same bridge. So here's the two police cars driving by. They didn't see anything. And then right behind the police cars comes this guy running. Except that's at 55, right? Yeah, there's that light again. If that runner had been there right then, it had been perfect. I see him right there. Okay. So I see him there. And that puts him at 9.55 and 3 seconds. So let's go up here. And that starts about right here. And then we go to uh, Google Maps. And we'll do the directions walking from, let's just say, from right here to right there. 
and that's two minutes. That's what they have on there, 495 feet. I don't know if that's two minutes. Let's just say it's a minute and a half. That would put him in there at 9.53 and 30 seconds. Inside, if they were just walking. So look at that. Right inside of that, at 9.53, and he goes missing, 9.52, 9.53, right inside that little area. Man, doesn't that bother you a little bit? I mean, he was right there, and they're sprinting away, and then they stop and then start walking really slow. I thought his last ping was 9.55. Okay, that makes it even... Uh, so the person is right in the same area that his phone quit pinging at 9.53. <laughs> That's the thing. He's right there. crazy hey and also thanks up there to Tamps oh wow hold on a second I missed that up there who bought uh, Jesus did I uh, missed um, Eugenie <laughs> man that just slipped right by me up there so thank you Eugenie for 10 memberships you guys that's amazing I wish I could scroll up and uh, welcome everybody I was in the middle of looking at something and then also to uh, an interstellar trucker. You still there, Eugenie? Thank you. That was very kind, very kind. Not that Mickey. Well, who's calling in next? Here we go. Looks like somebody's calling in. All right, 313. Hello. Hello? Yep. Hello. Hey. Do you want to speak with this Gray is, uh, Hughes? <laughs> no, this is me. I'm kidding. What do you got? <laughs> okay. All right. I was wondering. What the heck? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've got a whole fleet of people that answer calls and, you know. All right. Anyways, what do you got? Do all the hard work for you, huh? Yeah. I have. I want to know. No, we're Tempo Hotel. There's feedback coming back on my phone. Just to let you know, there's like a pause and then some feedback. So, mm -hmm. um, I sound kind of weird that's why because it's it's doing that temp i i read in your chat um that he, they those got the brat hey. boys were staying at tempo hotel mm -hmm. hey can i ask you something is it, it is it still having feedback now like this no 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 okay no. now how, how about now is it doing feedback now yeah yeah oh, that's feedback weird now. i think it's like the audio coming from my here i think i can fix that all right <laughs> I think it comes out of my okay. speakers back into the mic. I think I just figured out that problem. That's wild. Okay. All well, right. That's a good thing. Kind of, but uh, all right, go ahead. Uh, so the hotel. Anyway, Tempo Hotel. Mm -hmm. And I thought you you thought he was looking maybe at a map on his phone, and I thought, well, where where would he be going? Well, he, what well, I'm thinking, he probably was going back to the hotel. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, where's Tempo Hotel? And I think it's in the downtown area, but I didn't, I can't pull up on my phone and watch you at the same time. So <laughs> I thought maybe you could pull up where Tempo Hotel was and see exactly where it is. Well, it's not, it's in the, you didn't Compl go the right direction. Right. I think he probably was yeah. turned around and mm -hmm. went exactly in the opposite direction he, he was trying to go. And that's I mean, why he ended up at the river. You know, it's the same way Nashville's like with drunk really drivers. Hard to navigate. You know, yeah. But you know, drunk drivers, they don't know where they're going. Plus, he was just really intoxicated. He's just looking at his phone. He's He doesn't even know what he's looking at. He's just kind of like, oh, this way. And he just kind of keeps moving. And he kept, yeah, you'd think he would stop and figure out, okay, I need to go this direction. But obviously, he didn't. Well, a, uh, a sober and also, person might, but he was highly intoxicated. Right, but I, yeah. I, and the one clip where he's running, it's hard to tell where he's starting from. It's like, he's, is he starting in between some cars, or is he start? it doesn't look like he's starting, it doesn't appear that he's running on the sidewalk the whole way. He just kind of appears. You mean the, 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 vi the surveillance footage that you see him clearly, where he falls and face plants, that one? Yeah. Yeah, and okay. I do think he hits his head. I'm the one that wrote on the comments in some of your uh, videos that 
I think he's walking really weird because he's leaning and letting the blood not yeah. go in his eyes. But I think he hit his head and on the ground. He, I'm not sure he hit that piece of cement because he, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think he hit the cement. He might have hit that post that's the, sitting in front of it to keep, you know, if cars go, drive into it, they hit the post. Uh, I guess we can take a look at this if you want to see where he came running from. Hold on. Okay. I'll, I'll show you in a second. Okay. okay. All right. So let's go up to uh, Google Earth. That's the first one, so it's going to be over here on this street. But I don't know if the construction, it looks like they were building something there. Yeah, so they don't yeah, have, it's, the, it's not there anymore. So he, I mean, it's not there now. In like in 2022, whatever he ran through isn't there. Like he came, this fence isn't there, and he just went right through like that. You know? Yeah. Right. So. Looks like it, well, I I can't tell. He just kind of appears. Well, I'm talking about the well, one where he's run, you know. Yeah, I, I can see. He runs uh, through the parking lot by cars. I okay. can see it right now, as a matter of fact. And he, okay, you know, he runs through, but uh, it's not constructed yet. Like at the time in 2022, it looked like it was being construction was being done. For example, the thing that people mm -hmm. think he hit his head on isn't even there in 2022. Now they're doing a lot of construction in downtown. Nashville. I mean, it's just, you can see yeah. it everywhere. I uh, see him now. I finally did see him. I was like trying. So is it, there's a group of guys standing underneath. It looks uh, like a bright light right there. Is he coming out of that group of guys? There isn't a group of guys. Look, there isn't a group There's of like guys. four guys. There, well, okay. <laughs> well, no, there is. There isn't. I can, Go back there one more time. Yeah, but there isn't. There isn't? A, there, no, it's just uh, cars and, you know, he's running. There's people way across the street, way over there walking in another direction. But, yeah. Go back to that. I think there's... No, hey, oh, well, that's sort okay. of interesting. Over here, see well, that bright light? Well, hold on a second. Right? I don't want to... I don't... You're, I don't... What you're saying, there's a guy over here on the far right, though, that has a white shirt on, and he seems to be watching this guy, too. <laughs> I mean, it's so weird. Yeah. Like, if you look at this yeah, guy man. way over on the right, way over here at the mm -hmm. edge of the screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking at, the, like that bright light. And there's, I thought there was more than one, but maybe there's just one. Now I see him come where he came out of. I just found it interesting. I spent a lot of time in downtown Nashville. My daughter was going to school at Vanderbilt. I would go down there and hang around. It's really a really neat, well, when you're young and you want to go hang out, I can see how you know a lot of kids would want to go down there. A lot of energy down there. That's why I couldn't figure out where is he going? Because you know, to you know where the river is, even if you've never been there before. It's just there's nothing there. It just gets mm -hmm. dark over in that area, yeah. and he's obviously going toward the river. And I thought, well, maybe he's really trying to get to the hotel, but um, just got turned around. And I do think when he falls, he does hurt himself. I do too. I think he. Really got can, way kinda, more intoxic, you know, like like he hit his head almost uh, like he, he got a concussion and he's drunk, you know? Yeah. He seemed a little bit, but yeah. what's weird about it too is after this shot here, after he falls and then he does this shot, he seems, sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, he seemed like he was a little bit <laughs> more coordinated when he was walking across that crosswalk comparatively, yeah. comparatively. I mean, he still looks like he's highly intoxicated, but he doesn't seem as bad. He's not holding his head anymore. He's just kind of looking at his phone. And That's what I thought. I thought he, especially when he's walking right next to that building, he looks way maybe more impaired than he is because he's trying to hold his head in a position to let the yeah. blood drip on, not down in his uh -huh. eyes, possibly. Like right here, he doesn't look... That's why he's look, walking so awkward. In this shot here, he doesn't look quite as bad. You know, you think, I think like how see how he's holding his head down and kind of slinging it and putting his hand up to his head. But we're looking, you're, uh, but you're reading. looking at the wrong video. You're way behind. Oh well, on the show. I'm behind. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. am behind. Yep. Well, that's what I'm seeing on my screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he's holding his head, but I'm talking about the one where he's crossing the crosswalk. He doesn't <laughs> seem quite he does as look bad better. at that time. Yeah, I agree. He does look better though. Yeah. All right. Well, I just went, was wondering. I'll I'll look up Tempo Hotel later yeah. and see where I think where he was trying to go, and I, he would completely turn around. Yeah, we just so, I just showed it on the screen. It's, uh, it's actually south. He went the wrong direction. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. Yeah. It's easy to get confused there, though. I did it a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, that's um, true. 
it is with that river. It's like, oh gosh, you're, you just, it's, it's hard. So you have to get on the right road. To be, well, to, if you're, when you're driving, you have to get on the right road to be able to exit to the right exit. And yeah. if you, right. you know, just mess up by one road over, you're, yep. you're messed up. Okay. So, all right. Thanks, well, hey, well, thank you uh, right, for calling. Bye. Appreciate it. Bye bye. Um, yeah, thanks for the call. We, we have this guy over here isn't the same person. Okay, I want to I want to get in on that. He's got a white hat over here. Can you see that? The white hat. That this part looks the same, but just look at that. And then you move over to this shot, and this guy has a black hat on his head. All right. Did you notice that? Just saying. I mean, maybe he switched hats, okay? Or maybe he's working with somebody else who said, hey, keep an eye. Maybe they work in groups where there's four or five of them around and they mention somebody and then they all move together. Because maybe that other guy, this guy back over here, maybe he's the one uh, that was running. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, it's just... Yeah, he just trips himself. Like he's running and he just stumbles, basically. And then eventually he gets up and then he holds his head. Really struggling here, but just literally a minute later, he seems a lot less intoxicated. But again, this guy is still interesting how he only watches him. You know, it could just be, wow, this guy's drunk. But he immediately picks up his phone at that time, interestingly. I'm not really interested in the bar, any of that stuff. This is where everything takes place right here. I mean, if it came out, I obviously I'd play it and everything, but it's not something I'm... Huh? Bingo, all caps. You could be on the team work thing for sure. Not sure what that means. Riley doing when he stops. Why does her comments keep getting deleted? Not sure what's going on there. I understand the laughter regarding a very serious situation. Hey, BR, nobody's interested in your, um, you know, your virtue signaling, your, your holier than thou attitude. We're not laughing at the case, just various elements, okay? People just do that. That's the way the world works, man. You're not better than anybody else, and you don't need to call anybody else out. You sound like a total idiot. All right, who else is calling in here? I just saw a phone number come in. But I didn't click on the button fast enough. You talking to me, Revengeance? <laughs> I'm totally mellow. What I don't need is somebody going, you know, I can't, I don't believe anybody's laughing during a serious case. Yeah, we, we're laughing at something else. Nobody laughed at anything that you're referring to, all right? God, I mean, my God, you guys. When we do true crime, we're supposed to be like feeling, I don't know, I don't really understand. Uh, this is Gray, who's this? You're in the gray zone. I'm in the gray zone. I never yeah. thought I'd ever be in the gray zone, but I am. You did it. I'm glad to be here, too. Who is it? <laughs> um, well, listen, um, I honestly can't add much because you are so detail oriented. It it's mind blowing. Down to his height and the wall, he could have simply just lifted his leg and walked over. Like you are amazing, and I just that's why I love you because I can come home, mm -hmm. turn you on, and get all the information <laughs> that I wish I that I have would normally have to search to find because you already have it. The mapping is amazing. I'll I'll give you my two cents if you want it. Right. But um, he was so intoxicated. I really believe he hurt himself when he hit that pole. Um, and yeah, he snapped out of it a little bit. Like you know, that's what you do when you're that drunk. You just keep back up and keep on going. And that lady with the cowboy hat, mm -hmm. she locked eyes on him. Rewind that. Well, yeah, From but she was probably scared of him. She was probably scared, like, oh, my God, exactly. this guy's really drunk. Yeah. Okay, so if they can find out where she is, because he kind of 
wanted to go their way. And that's why, like, th- like he was saying something or listening yeah. to what they were saying, uh-huh. turned around and was like, wait a minute, I'm going their way. And probably followed them to some to yeah. at some point. Like that's uh-huh. really, I believe that they have more, maybe even two, a minute, sixty seconds to mm-hmm. even, you know, maybe three minutes more of a timeline if they could contact or find those people. And they definitely were not that intoxicated. That woman with that cowboy hat on knew exactly what was going on. Yeah, maybe she'd be if an interesting person her, to uh, talk to. You know. For sure. Right out. So I'm wondering. Cheerio, right out. Are you from England? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, go ahead. No, I actually have cousins <laughs> that, that live there. My apologies. But I am English. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I guess cool. it just stuck. It's just natural. It's like it's <laughs> anyway, in your blood. Um, you were born saying his... right out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. But anyway, in his travels, like, right, where you're, what you're showing kind of right now, he wanted to follow them. I believe he did. To some extent. Now, I, I think the river's right there. The bank is right beyond him. And and then the wall's up further from that. If you, like, continue mm-hmm. on to the, like, if as he's walking. Yeah, yeah, I've shown all If this, I saw so. your map correctly. Yeah. And um, he could have easily, like you said, stumbled over, tumbled. But what makes me concerned is I actually am an amateur archaeologist. So I'm in the woods a lot and by cricks. There's a lot of homeless people and homeless camps there. That kind of almost looked like it could have been um, an acquirement of some sort of of someone who may have, you know, resided there or resides there. And, like, I just think there's more information that could either be easily figured out or, or they already Wait, know. Wait, you think the person with the cowboy hat lives in the homeless camp? No, no, no. Ooh. So, I, all right, so, like, cut screen. So now we lost the lady with the cowboy hat, right? Which guy are so you, he could have either which one are you stumbled talking about? down the bank. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I'm talking about where they found his bank card. Yeah, that's down in, it's okay. right below all the homeless encampments. Yep. So there is a homeless, I didn't see that. There is a homeless encampment there. So yeah. they can look into that as well. I, I, been honest with you, um, I live near the Philadelphia area and a lot of homeless people are very good people. And when they see people in trouble, like I would say 80% of the time, they want to help. And so now there's that whatever percent that you want to pull out of the hat Mm -hmm. that would probably take advantage of somebody. So it's just so up in the air in so many different directions. Yeah. no. But they pulled the body. They pulled the body. Yeah, like that. I just found out because I just got home. It's just not it's not his body, so it's kind of just another body in the river. Right, and if it's anything like Philadelphia, unfortunately, that that happens. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm praying to God that it's not him. I want to thank you for your detailed, oriented, and just no BS. Just this is what it is, fact based, and it's awesome. Thank you so much. Well, I'd love you. to be in the gray. <laughs> I wish I wish more people actually recognize that as a good thing. Most people like conspiracy, crazy, uh, you know, just well, all yeah, over the place okay. stuff. I mean, we're a little bit like... Okay, we could sit it, here it, and do that like for three days, but I don't have that kind of time, and I really want... Yeah. I'm interested. Yeah, well, what's I want to is, know that this boy is going to yeah. be okay. Well, like I'm saying, you know, my, this is really outside of my norm to say that that person that seems to be running away... I mean, I don't know if it's outside of my norm. My thing is, is the timing of it. It's sort of like the same thing in the Delphi case with, uh, you know, yeah. the Richard Allen and like, what are the odds that he's there? You know, Keegan Klein was supposed to meet him that there day, but they didn't get to meet them because another random person was there as like a serial killer and killed them before the catfishing person. You know, those are the things that you look at. And go, what I'll are the be honest odds of that? with you. I yeah. can't even follow what you're saying. You're reading a fiction story to me right now, which couldn't even be. Well, fiction. you've never heard the of that. You've never heard of the Delphi. Case? I mean, yes, I have, but it has gone it, into so many different directions. Oh, right. I stopped. <laughs> like it, I wasn't watching your show. I'm still adding it went the clarity. In so many different directions. Still, I just stopped. Yeah, but I'm still adding the clarity to it. That's the that's the beauty. I would love to see your clarity because <laughs> I, I yeah. stopped. I just stopped the craziness yeah. because I wasn't. I refused. Okay, that's probably, it's not a bad idea for some people. (laughs) 
All right. I mean, yeah, because like I can do this on my own and it is entertaining to a point. But at one point, if you're truly interested in the facts and and have a pure heart about it and you're honest about it and you really want resolution, even if it's grave, mm-hmm. um, then you you kind of, OK, great. Yeah, it could go in A, B, C to all the way to Z. These are all great. If there's some substance to that, I'll hold on to it. If not, let it. I'm letting it go. Keep going, and then it gets to the point where, like with Delphi, it was like with the oh God yeah. and and the no, security man, guards, man. And, the, and I couldn't. I was like, done, done. Well, no, but I get uh, more facts. Hey, I'll, I'll just say this one. I'll just say this really simply in that case, right? So here it is. See, there was a guy named Keegan Klein that was a catfisher, catfishing account, kind of similar mm-hmm. to you know the. The Stearns wacko, you know, like a a psycho like that, right? So he, this person was supposed to meet, you know, they pretended they were somebody else and was supposed to meet Libby at the bridge the day that they were murdered. But the only reason they didn't get to meet her, the catfishing account, was because some random person named Richard Allen killed them before that. So what a horrible day to think a catfishing account didn't get to meet the girls because some other killer uh, was there. That's what they're saying. I have a hard time believing that's Okay, I was true. just going to ask you, do you have facts based on that? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're in documents. Uh, you know, whether or not somebody, uh, law enforcement, was lying at one point, like, to get him to say something, I don't know. But that Right, is, because you got to, now you have to consider law enforcement, security guards, and this, oh, what is it? Oh, Odin. Od- Odin. Odin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm not dis- I'm not discrediting that at all because I'm not I don't even know what it is, mm-hmm. and I am very uh, much a historical well, you buff, should. You should. and so I'm not I I I'm, I refuse to right. say anything about it. But yeah. I, uh, well, I was just giving you, I just wanted to give you the speak, uh, you know speaking the, of it negatively. Well, you don't have to get into so. the Odinism. I just want I just wanted to tell you that the I, what I was saying was is sometimes weird coincidences happen, like this guy running away. Could be similar to the Keegan Klein was supposed to meet them as a catfishing account, but didn't because some other killer was there. My, you know, it's the same kind of like, what are the I odds? Believe, yeah, and though? I believe I believe that is that can happen, and to, especially in today's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I could believe that. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in um, unfortunate fate, and I believe that that can happen. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, it's sad. All right. it's, it'll be interesting as it plays out. I'll be watching your channel all the time, though, because I can yeah. count on it. Well, so thank, I appreciate you. Well, thank you. I appreciate you uh, calling <laughs> in. Thanks for the nice words. <laughs> right. Absolutely. You know, it doesn't hurt <laughs> every, every once, once in a while. while. And, yeah. and you deserve it. So kudos. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> and have a terrific night. Have have a you great too. rest of your St. Patty's Day. Oh, that's right. It's St. Patrick's. Uh, yeah, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right. See you later. Hey, luck of the whatever. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe we'll get some good luck, and this body isn't him, and maybe there's some hope. Well, it isn't, it isn't him, so that's good. Yeah. Or oh, bad, good. Okay, good. It could be good bad, to know. too. Thank could, you. All right. All right. Have a good one. See you later. Bye-bye. All right. You too now. Bye-bye now, Greg. Yeah, so we've, we've been doing a lot of missing person cases over the years, and one of the worst things for missing person cases is the never getting an answer. So if he isn't alive, which I don't think he is, um, I think that it'd be great if if he was found tomorrow, okay? Uh, the waiting around for years and years and years, never really getting closure in the answer is absolute torture on families forever. But if you find, you know, if you find the body and determine what happened and everything, you have the answers, and at some point you can start living a normal life again. But when somebody's missing and there's never an answer, your life is in limbo for decades. Okay? Decades. All right, 847, you're on. All right, hey. 847, you're on. Hi. Hey. Okay, so. Hey. Oh, thanks, Norm uh, Scanlon up there. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, I'm going to mute myself on my side. So yeah, you got to mute. Your the, echo. Yeah. Cool. Um, am I doing okay? You're doing awesome. Because I hear an echo on my side. Oh wait, can you can you okay. st- can you still hear an echo now? If I'm this far away. 
Uh, no, that's way better. Huh. Totally better. That's so weird. Okay, yeah. so I want to say something. Oh, yeah. So I'm a psychic. Don't want to talk about it necessarily. I don't put myself on TikTok, but I did just call because um, I saw it somewhere else. What is that? That M P N D or I don't know what that means. Did I just lose you? No, I'm here. Uh, it's where there was another thing where they were saying, you know, call the station if you have any whatever. Mm -hmm. So I called them to tell them my theory. I've never told, I've never done something like that before. And they put me through the cold case unit, which was weird because I didn't know, did that mean I was on something or whatever? So I want to say that quick. And then I wanted to just add on to what I heard your last caller saying, if that's okay. And just how you've got your little circle there. And now, hold on a second. Why are people saying, turn, turn, um, uh oh! Oh no! And oh, stuff I, in the oh, chat. What happened? No, I'm not going to look at that. What are they talking about? I don't, about? Get I don't, I don't know. know. Why I, I are people saying "ton, chat. ton, ton"? Oh no! No, no. Uh, oh, what's going on? Probably my voice. Probably my cute little voice. No. So. Well, you're not a psychic, I, um, are you? Are you a psychic? How, I mean, only when it's important no, to well, help well, people who yeah, are alive. Yeah, yeah, but we don't. Yeah, but we don't. We just we don't believe in psychics on over here. I know that we looked at a what well jesus christ and intuition i think would all stem from that whether we're atheists or not i think we can all have a little bit of intuition in us um, well intuition so i agree it with. really quick i agree with intuition i'm thinking about the stroller the the black you know with the with all the like loose sitting you know like i've seen the footage of very you have to admit it, like you usually, if you have very little stuff in your stroller, your cart, whatever, you're packing it in there, you're rolling it up, you're really fitting it in, you maybe have a tarp on top, you know, I think we look at that black, whatever, it seems very loose, like a bunch of cushy things. And my report that I put into the police station where they sent me the cold case was I asked them both to... Um, look at the bike, you know, if they recover the black stroller, but I think now mm -hmm. they're saying that they saw the bike. I said to look for soldering or glue marks on the places that a calf mm -hmm. and a deep muscular right. or even just, you know, I'll drive you home on my little stroller, just lay down okay. in this cushy place. I hope that works out for you. I got to go. I, 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 I'm not doing this, you guys. I'm sorry. I just, if you want to, she can go put out her proclamation somewhere else and I, I'm not doing it over here. Sorry, guys. I just I don't do psychics. All right, I I just don't do it. They always say do the same thing. You know what psychics are? They're people like me who can think through a case and then they pretend they're divining it from somewhere and then put some embellishments on it and then go out and put as many versions of the story out as possible and then finally they get somebody that uh, one of them matches. All right. Uh, four seven eight. You're on. Great. Yeah. Who's it's this? Johnny. Johnny from Georgia. Johnny from Georgia. Say, what, what's going on? I uh, this psychic. They drive me crazy. Oh God! I, I had to get so out of there. They're so full of shit. <laughs> They're so full of shit. <laughs> I had to get out of there quick. No, your dumbass. You know. And, and unfortunately, the people it's, that wanted to hear it, they go, "I don't like gray anymore. How rude." Here's the thing, everybody. Well, here's, the, here's the thing, everybody. If you know this channel, you know that I don't accept that crap. I think it's absolute garbage. And if you want to go believe it, you can believe it somewhere else. But to force me to sit here and listen to it is you, rude as hell, to be honest with you. I mean, if anybody watched my I show wanted, for five minutes, I wanted you know. to thank you. Thank okay. you so much for cutting her off when you did, dude. You saved us. You saved us. Anyway, real fast. Yeah. You said today about your brother passing away, and if my brother passed away, and in the same year, and I was going to say, I saw what it did to my family. I mm -hmm. saw what it did to my mother, and when you were talking about the families earlier, I mean, and not knowing, that's the worst part. Oh, you're the one I was emailing and, and, today. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I was, and it's, it, not knowing is so horrible. That's terrible. And I'm, I empathize with these people so fucking much. I mean, I empathize with them completely. It breaks my heart, you know? And uh, anyway, I was going to say um, that, that you're doing a great job. This is definitely the best. This is the top of the line. I don't like this genre. 
but yours I actually do because you there's something about you that you keep it real. And I was going to ask you one last thing. Has anyone ever told you that you sound kind of like Norm McDonald? Yeah, I've heard that literally 5,000 times. I don't know why, though. I don't know why. You, uh, I don't know why I get well, that, it, but it, I've heard that it, literally. Your like vocal cords. Oh. Uh, you're not from Canada originally. Oh, you mean my you? actual voice sound, not what I'm saying. I just sound technically like him, is what you're saying. Yeah, your vocal cords and the, and the way that you pronunciate your syntax, it sounds like Norm MacDonald. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, I just, I just thought that you might so you, But you're that. not alone. You're not alone. I've heard that literally, God, I would say at least, like, truthfully 20 times, you know, like, a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let someone else call, but before I do, I want to say to all the viewers out there, Let's all like meditate and you know, send good energy to the families, the survivors, the people. They're going through a lot. When I saw the mother of this Riley Strain kid, she was breaking apart, and it, it was so real. It was too real. And for her, you know, for us, it's like, oh, it's like the fascination of, of the true crime angle. But when you're the human being experiencing that, and it's her yeah. child, and you know what I'm saying? So let's all just say whatever a prayer or meditate whatever you want to do and damn you you're cool as shit Greg. <laughs> well thanks man appreciate the the pick bye. me up all right have a good one yeah see ya bye. Bye. all right listen to this listen to this hold on a second where is the wallet at a hut at a hut Still again, little buddy. Skip by. Okay. All right, we got it all figured out, everybody. The the wallet is. I mean, God, you guys, it's just ridiculous. All right, Who, who's calling in up here? Uh, who do I got? I mean, there's so many callers. Hey, two one five. What's going on? How you doing, Grace Brian? Hey, Brian, what's going on, man? How you doing? That video you made of that guy, I really think he was involved if it was something not, if a crime was involved. The way he was running and stopped, and the cell phone got turned off at around that same time. Yeah, well, I guess it quit pinging almost exactly when the guy would have been oh, in the I area. Agree. Yeah. Now, where, where did you get that video from? Well, it was on another channel earlier, but apparently he got it from another YouTuber who put out, I forgot okay. his name already again, but it's it. I put the link in there. He, uh, okay. he put out a video. Well, no, there it is right here. Hold on a second. It was the uh, channel called uh, Brandon Smith. It's not really even a channel, really. It's just, I think he just wanted to upload this. And it is a okay, channel, obviously, you. but, uh, you know, it's Brandon Smith. He uploaded two hours of video, so it's right on there, and it's way clearer than what I had put in my video that I put out today. And now, when I look yeah. at it again, I'm, I really think just being able to see it clear with the changing of the contrast, and it just yeah, feels like the guy's I, running. When I was younger, I used to like commit some crimes. I would run, and that's <laughs> what you do. You stop running. Right, so you after, draw, stop yeah. drawing attention. When I exactly. used to do mischief when I was younger, just like throw rye, I was like, I was like, I was a little badass when I was younger. Just do stupid things we all do when we drink, and um. I, he just looks so shady the way he stopped. I really think that guy's involved. And the other guy, the other corner, that's more clear. That could be him. The way he's staring at him, he could have followed him. And I just wonder if there's any other cameras in that direction, businesses or anything. Well, I think they do have a camera over there. They just said that they couldn't see him coming. But, man, what, why don't they track yeah. that person? I mean, that timing of yeah. that is really suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I, 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 I sadly think this uh, guy's dead. I just hope he didn't suffer too much. I think he got robbed and then put in the river, and hopefully they find his body. That's what I think so far with the information that I got, and that was great work tonight, what you did. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah, clearing up the video. I'll let you get to the next caller because I know what, there's other callers <laughs> still that everybody gets yeah. out there, and definitely I don't want to hog it. Well, that's always good to hear from you, uh, Brian. From the uh, oh yeah, definitely, it's good hearing you about you too. Uh, every time I hear about but you, I totally agree. Brother, I think I when you. I was a kid, I remember yeah, you, yeah. you do something, you run a little bit, and you're like, as soon as you're clear, you start walking, but you still kind of walk. Yeah, but you're just like, yeah, exactly, yeah. But you're trying to get yeah, out of the immediate my, my, area. Me and my friends used to throw a exit windows. You would be running, then as soon as you get away, you start walking. It's just, it's just like right because if you, you keep do. running that's too why, long, that's why uh, I think uh, that guy's involved. Well, if you run too long, a cop might see you. But if you run a little bit just to get out of then you stop now you look like a regular yeah. person just walking yeah regular guy walking exactly 
Mm-hmm. And is it true? Is there like a homeless encampment there? I see that's that what they the say. Chat. That's what they say. Like there's tents right out Okay, there. so like, yeah, so it could be that, yeah. I just hope he didn't suffer because I believe he's dry. I believe he's dead. I believe he's in the river. I just hope they find his body, yeah. but they might never find his body. You never know. I feel for his parents. Now, now everybody's got to hope for the best now that the cops do their work and hopefully the FBI is the FBI involved. Like who, I don't know that. Hopefully they mm-hmm. find out what happened sooner. I mean, it's Not really important where the, wherever that uh, card was found is really important. Because that's like the location. Yeah, and, and, and then people that found the car, they knew not to touch it, right? Well, I don't know if they knew not to touch it, but they quickly quit going live for some reason as if that was some way to... I mean, I don't they, really understand Yeah, they should have They should have stayed live and had, yeah. like, they, wait, they should have called the cops and let the cops do it with gloves because the killer could have touched that and his touch DNA could have been on there. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, yeah see, that's just, that's just always thinking. I, I always think ahead. I don't know. I love true crime. I must not go with the computer stuff. That's why I watch your channel. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> I like I like Greg. You want the hardware. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, well, thanks for calling in. Right. It's always good talking to you. All right. Yeah. Right, yeah. You. Thanks for listening. I'll uh, take the next call. I'm going to watch the rest of your show. All right, man. Have a good one. Bye. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, Jesus. I think somebody else, I don't know if somebody else has dialed in or you have to try that again. Somebody with a seven in the front. You di- dial in next. I'll answer that one. Hurry up. There it is. I think that. All right, seven, seven something. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're on. Yep. W- w- who's this? Hey, cool. Thanks. Yeah, this is. Uh, I live in Nashville. I work a couple blocks from where this is at. Mm-hmm. Where this happened. Yeah. And uh, also, I drive for Uber on the side as well. And I'm uh, really familiar with that area. And um, I don't know if it's been uh, confirmed or not what he with the whole running. And I know what they said pings and whatnot, but I'm not convinced because when you're driving Uber around here, it is a disaster to try and pick up these people here. And uh, it's hard to communicate with them. They're not from here. They're incoherent. People just come here for one reason. When they're when they're you know, it's just to get completely hammered at the bars. So, um, are we sure that he wasn't trying to run to meet the Uber? Because I've been that guy, the Uber driver, saying, "Hey, uh, where are you? I'm at the pickup spot." But you know, the drunk guy's not there. You mean, and, when, you um, mean when he tripped and fell? Or yeah, yeah, when he's running, maybe he's running. His... Well, like when he fell and hit his head on the ground. That that one. Right. I'm thinking he's. I'm just, he just might have been running to try and catch an Uber somewhere because he's probably the wrong pickup spot. Like, no one's ever the right spot. They call one, mm-hmm. but they keep walking or moving. Yeah. Or they don't know what they're doing. Well, yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying, but there, there's vi- there's there's a video of him running, and he falls, and he smashes his face right on the ground. Then he gets up, right. and he walks. Then he is kind of looking at his phone, so maybe, you know, maybe he's trying to figure out where the Uber guy is or whatever. Uh, but then there's That's another person the running. Back later but that seems like somebody running from away they have a different color shirt on and they found his credit card down by the river yeah 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 i'm not talking about that guy i'm talking about the beginning part where he's running down third avenue okay um and then when that splits off too like i was driving that i built that area yesterday i was driving i was driving last night and i just because i've been watching this case like crazy i was i drove it last night just to check it out and just like you know kind of just to see what you know just to be in that area again at night and see mm-hmm. everything but the, the reason people park up there if you look on their map too if anyone ever parks up there like that one couple that has the there's a news article on them out there it said i mean they're on the video and they said oh we saw them and whatnot the reason anyone parks up there especially the locals is because there's old school meters and the old school meters are free with the uh when you know, put the quarter in those aren't that's one of the few places you could park for free downtown mm-hmm. and uh downtown parking's no joke it's like super expensive so you know pe- people will park up there but it's really where, where it's split those people were walking like that couple kind of jaywalked almost they're going to like get their cars and then we're um if, if you go down no one goes that way like no one except for no i mean that's just not a, it's a nice little river walk i guess you know in the daytime or whatnot mm-hmm. 
but a lot of p- places know, to the, park the, there. If, like if you wanted to park on the street, maybe with the after a certain time, it's probably yeah. free. I would imagine, like six o'clock. Or after so. six p.m., yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. After six, it's free. But Nashville, you know, because it got so popular. I mean, a parking ticket around here was only twelve dollars during the day if you got a ticket. So you, you know, mm-hmm. they finally got hip to it, and um, they started doing the things that most metropolitan cities have, which is you know, pay the box and put the, um, and it's all electronic nowadays. But the one rule, cause I was for free parking is cause I work downtown as well for my real job. Um, is that it's, an, you know, I look it up and see what the holidays are free, which ones and whatnot, but it says if there's an old school meter, it is free parking. So that's why people take advantage of those spots up there to park because it's free. And again, you know, you can pay 20 some dollars an hour to park in those, independently owned lots or 40 in a garage for you know, just a little bit but um but to go down because it does split i mean you obviously know that but um it does split and uh he it looks like he went down the way where that is like as you've been saying and everyone's saying kind of no man's land down that way mm-hmm. you're not going to run into much traffic but i you know i just wonder if they can say I mean, they have to have the phone records by now. They have, I'm sure they did some kind of subpoena to. Yeah, they already said that his phone, uh, it, they, they have all that, like ping, where the pings were, and 953, yeah, no, or it so, turned off, and, you know, they know where he was and everything. I mean, they, they think he went into the right. water right between those bridges. Or that's where his last no, known yeah, location is. I completely is. get it. Yeah. I completely get it. And as you know, too, where that yellow line is. You, you know, if you're down there, you got to go up one, like kind of one landing and then up all those stairs to get to that bridge mm-hmm. for anyone that's not familiar with it. Like, oh, or you sorry. go down that steep, rocky yeah. thing and fall into the water. But to get onto the bridge, yeah, see, you got to go all the way up that. Thing. So that's, and that's a trek. It's not people that have to realize that it's pretty elevated to get there. And mm-hmm. um, for anyone that's not familiar, too, those railings in real life. I drove over that bridge twice yesterday, last night. Those railings, I'm, you know, I'm six two. They're very, very uh, small. And, yeah, they're um, only three feet tall. I've, I, I, I've measured them. I mean, you can Is do it, use Google okay, Earth. Yeah. You can actually put it, put the pin on top of the wall, and it's three feet higher all the way down than the ground right below it. So I think it's three oh, feet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that guy's got about, you know six inches taller than me or whatnot but um but yeah i mean it's it's easy to flip but you would have to get all the way up there or you could take that steep steep thing down but um i was just curious like i said i'm I'm fully aware of the pings and whatnot but just to see if he i just had my theory the way he was running because third avenue is super heavily populated and you're really not getting you don't see any muggings happening on Third Avenue and whatnot, but um, you know, I think he was trying to find his Uber driver, and his Uber driver might have been talking to him. I'm surprised that wasn't. If 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 that's you know if I'm right. Um, well, it will be interesting. You know, had, that turns had, out to be uh, I've true. Tons of drunk people. I'm sorry to cut. Uh, no, I just uh, said it'd I've be cool if that it turns out to be true. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was unfortunate though. Like. You know, plenty of Uber drivers say, oh, okay, I can just hang up on the guy. That's it. You know what I mean? Because it really is. You can't find this person. They're never going to find you. They keep moving. You know, you're never going to find them. They're never going to find you. And uh, you're frustrated. You know, they're already over their time where you can cancel the ride and still get, you know, a cancellation fee. And that's one of the unfortunate parts of driving for Uber is that, mm-hmm. you know, you got to deal with this kind of stuff. Anyway. Yeah, that's just one of my theories. Uh, but right. this is this is really interesting. Thanks for uh, doing crazy. this. Never seen your show before. This is oh, thanks. Um, interesting as a parent myself, and my hometown city, and I work two blocks away from this happened. And wow, it's uh, yeah, you know, it's a very interesting thing. And uh, I'm just uh, still uh, open for the best. I mean, yeah, I like to think think that he's someone's some crazy guy's gonna you know. Right. or a woman or whatever maybe just uh cave and release them that's the only thing i that's i know it's really really wishful thinking but i'm just trying to send the best vibes i can to 
you know i mean like that last caller said about his mom i mean as a parent myself like good god i just i just think about that 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 mom all the time and like what does she do does she ever eat does she ever sleep you know does she do it you know like what is she oh god i mean just unbelievable you know it really is unbelievable and no one would ever know how that feels until you're right unless you're exactly her you know everything's situational uh, you yeah. know but uh anyway Good i'm nightmare. sorry i'm rambling but thanks that's again. okay <laughs> well hey thanks for calling in with your perspective from living there it was interesting yeah yeah sure all right man all, all right. right hope we get some um, answers bye-bye. all right bye Hey, by the way, uh, like uh, mods, I was just, you know, if you're out there, don't remove people from the channel unless they're disparaging the channel or, you know what I mean? Like, um, even if they say something ridiculous, don't remove them. I'll, I'll remove people um, when I read what they say. If it's something really rude towards the channel, they're just, they're just immediately removed. There isn't, we don't do something where, hey, that's rude, be nicer. As soon as we see you s- respond like that or comment like that, there isn't a second chance. There's nothing. It's just that's you. We already know who you are and what you have the propensity to sound like. So you don't have a second chance. You're just gone. All right. So you might think you're still typing, etc. And you are. You're still typing, but nobody can see it because you've been blocked from the channel. But I just want to be the one that blocks most people that I, you know, once it gets to that level... Uh, you guys can, you know, if they're disparaging the channel, then you go ahead and remove them. Okay. I don't even see any mods in here, for God's sakes. <laughs> when was the last one up there? It's like, wait, Amber, and then, you know, then the, there's some up there, Alley Cake. Hey, thanks, Liddale Seagraves. All right. Right, right, but you don't need to, um, like, every time, unless they're trashing the channel. You know, there's one up here, it's sort of on the border because they're saying something about, you know, what's the difference between an atheist and a and a person? And it's like, see, those are ones I don't mind r- removing those people because those are the ones that are always going to have some other spin with some sort of asshole type uh, correlation to it. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. All right, so who's the, uh, (laughs) yeah. Gosh, Gray, you bastard. I was just saying. Well, you'll never say it again. (laughs) What happened? What happened, Zozo? (laughs) I missed something, I think. Oh, yeah, let's see what that one said. Uh, Shame on you, Gray, accusing people without proof. Uh, who have I uh, accused on here? What have I accused uh, anybody? If I accused somebody on the show, I said, hey, look, at there's this grainy figure running away. I think that person might have something to do with it. 520, you're on. Hi, great. Hey. This is Karen. Like the actual Karen. All right. <laughs> I know. Social media. Hey, let me, uh, let me ask you something. <laughs> How? The, I mean, you're... Don't you hate that your name got sort of, you know, taken over by, like, used as, like, a whiny person? Yes. That sucks. I, it, it does suck. And you know what? I have to explain it every single time. I introduce myself and say, <laughs> hi, I'm Karen, but social media ruined my name. That's how I introduce myself. You, gotta go so I, you, gotta, you could say, hey, my name is Karen. I'm just, I'm normal. But you know what's weird is yeah, uh, I always have to say that with my name. I have to say it. my name is Gray like the color. But I respond to Gary, yeah. Greg, or Craig. Okay. Uh, I tell my husband when we're out, don't say my name. Just call me honey. <laughs> yeah, because you seem to say Karen. Oh, man. And then if you say anything <laughs> at all, if you ever complain at all, then you, you have to almost go out of your way never to complain about anything, right? 
I know exactly. As a matter of <laughs> fact, crazy. I'm a member on two different accounts on your on your channel. It's so funny. <laughs> and I thought, why did I put Karen Wild West on here? It's kind of silly. Why did I put Karen on there? And my husband's like, maybe you should change it to Carrie or something. <laughs> and I'm like, but that's my name. It used to be a good name in the '60s. Yeah, that was, it was no, it was great up until like four years ago, and then it just. <laughs> But anyways, uh, but anyway, what do you got? What do you I'm got? agreeing with you. I agree with you probably 99.9% .9 of the time. But you know what I was thinking? That credit card that they found today, I don't think if he landed in the river, I think there's something highly suspicious of it. That brush there is extremely dense. And I don't think somebody in his condition would have wound up there on purpose, trying to weed through that. He would have taken a path of least resistance. And for one credit card to be sitting there, why would he take out his wallet and be fumbling through credit cards? It just seems like somebody else would have been fumbling through his wallet and dropping the credit card or throwing them off in the water or something like that. It just seems highly suspicious to me that one credit card is laying there. Yeah, I mean... At the river's edge. Let's see. Well, I mean, yeah, because where's the rest of his wallet, I guess? Yeah. Exactly. And, Ooh, I Jesus. mean, the way my husband's wallet <laughs> is, he just has a little flip thing. I just don't see how one credit card would be there. I would think his wallet or everything there would be, it would be, his wallet would be in his, you know, in his pocket or whatever in... He would have been out, or the whole wallet, or I just don't see how one would be there. I don't know. It was just a thought, unless he just had one in his pocket, you know, and an ID in his pocket, you know, for going out. You know, maybe that's what they do nowadays. I don't know. But anyway, I, I just think there's something. I think that guy at the corner is the same one going by. I think the timing, I think you're absolutely right. I think the video you did is excellent on on honing in on that guy. I think I think the cops need to look at you know at least talk to him, find out who he is. But I think the timing, I, I don't know, Occam's razor, just the coincidence of it. I, I I just don't believe in coincidence. I I just think it's highly. I just think it's very suspicious. Very suspicious. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's a little weird that you just found that. That means somebody is probably, like, rifling through a wallet and, uh, you know, they're looking for cash and maybe they everything else was thrown and it's in the water going downstream. I mean, it'd be kind of, I mean, I, we don't know if he was carrying, because there was a time where I used to just carry all my cards loose, stacked in my really? pocket. Yeah, it was weird because I hated, we know when you lose your wallet, you lose everything. But yes. I got to the point where I would just carry like eight, ten cards just right in my pocket, and I never lost any of them, <laughs> like ever. But the thing is, is if I lost one, I could deal with it. But when you lose your whole wallet, man, you're you're screwed, man. You got to... <laughs> oh, no, you are nowadays. Oh, my yeah. gosh, it's like a nightmare. But, oh, my gosh, my son is... 40 now but i could not imagine if i saw him walking around with a loose credit card it would drive me crazy if i saw him do that. <laughs> i know i know i know <laughs> it would drive me crazy I, I, but yeah, yeah no i don't, I don't do know anymore, i just but... thought god that's really weird to have one credit card sitting there by you know by the water and the guy's running by it just seems like somebody was rifling or maybe he was throwing them in the river and one dropped and he didn't realize it. it's dark out when he was tossing them in the water i don't know it was just kind of a thought you know, maybe that's where the phone is or he's got the phone on him. You know, I don't know. It was just a thought, but I'm a highly suspicious person, so I automatically go that route anyway. So, you know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I just thought I I'd bring that point. up, and it was cool just to call you and say hi. <laughs> we'll, we'll call you Nerok backwards, you know. It sounds like a, like a caveman oh, there name. there you go. Yeah, <laughs> Nerok. <laughs> yes. I, there you are. Then I feel tough. And I'm Yarg, right? So we're both like cavemen. Yeah, almost everybody's name's backwards sounds like that. So my I'm Yarg and you're Nerok. 
There you go. There you go. Uh, hey, I could be part of the Star Trek team or something. Well, there you go. We're, we're both Klingons. There you go. There you go. Oh, hey. Hey, I'm a Star <laughs> Trek fan. Hey, I've watched them all like 15 times. So, hey, right, I'd sit right in. All right. Very cool. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and you have a great night and well, great work. Thank well, you. Well, thanks, Narok. Have a good one. <laughs> okay. I will talk to you later. All right, see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's too bad, man. Because Karen used to be just a fine name, you know. It still is. How is it? Let's see. Ding, 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 ding. Anyways, I've been on for three hours now. Do you guys have anything else you want to talk about? I think I could probably... I'm just going to call it a night. We've, we've hit that lull period, you know. Best uh, subscribers and members on all of YouTube. True crime. Well, good, Plato. That's what I think. I mean, we have, like, rational-minded people here. We don't just allow, like, just... Well, that's not freedom of speech. Well, if you just sit there, I mean, we allow, you can say whatever you want, but it's not just going to go unnoticed. If you say something crazy, I'll probably say, wow, that doesn't make any sense at all. Here's why. Hope that's okay. It's, you know, I think it should be okay if people, uh, if you have an opinion and people can immediately uh, show that it doesn't make sense. You, know, you shouldn't be offended by it. You should be like, oh, okay, yeah. And then that way you can move on and think differently. What happens in true crime a lot is people, uh, one of the most prevalent psychological disorders that there is in the true crime community is, it's not really a disorder, but a phenomenon. It's called, um, you know, tunnel vision. <laughs> or, you know, like, you, you want to, uh, confirmation bias. Every, you come up with a theory, and then everything that you do from then on is trying to confirm that theory instead of once something's presented to you that shreds your theory, you need to move on and start again and come up with something else and move forward. But what happens is is people then dispute the shredding you know, like if you if you completely disprove something with facts, they'll just start trying to waffle and try to disprove facts that are just facts. You know, it's uh, it's really weird. It's like why don't you just accept it and move on? That's how you can move forward. I mean, there's been times where I've thought of something and I go, oh shit, and somebody says something, and it completely changes the course and direction of what we're doing. You know, like in the in the Delphi case on the bridge, you know, the people thought the the photo of Abby and Libby was on the other side of the bridge. And then one lady found one photograph that showed a forked tree, the same tree that was behind the suspect on the bridge in Libby's video. And that changed the course of everything. That's what changed the flow of the crime. Uh, everybody then was aware of how the crime went down the hill, across the creek, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Had that not existed, I mean, who knows how long it would have taken. Let's see. Anyways. All right, you guys. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you to uh, Kubi Claudia Neubauer. Brown-eyed girl. Dun -dun -dun. 99 Pink Balloons, a new member. Alicia Powers, a new member. Uh, Rhea Mazzarone, a new member. Jamie Hicks, a new member. Then Olivia, Ali uh, Cake, Mama She13, Tara, Richard Gartner, Eugenie, 655, Katya T, Kmee, Tamster, Caligal3 with a cat eye, Wise Child, Kubi, Linda Howell, as in Linda Molden Howe of the Cattle Mutilations and Crop Circles, uh, Siabane, Tamster, then Ivan Victor became a new member for the 19th time. <laughs> Tara, Pirate Girl, Jennifer Cardillo. Woohoo! I remember. Uh, Romeo's Heart. And she saw, uh, I took a picture with Romeo's Heart at the, um, let's see, 
in the New Orleans uh, Crime Con years ago. She sent it to me. I was like, oh yeah, I totally remember it too. Uh, Jersey, Reb, Chris22, Paulette, Leonard, South Dakota Girl, new member, uh, Rev Revengeance, Interstellar Trucker, Patricia Donahue, Eugenie gifted 10 memberships. Man, that's amazing. Thank you. Positive Vibes. Robin Coladrone. Or Calderon, excuse me. <laughs> My eyes flipped something over. Mama 457 Rose. Kubi gifted a membership. Interstellar Trucker gifted one. Then Tamster again. Homeless guy on the news said he heard a commotion, but he didn't go up. Yeah, I did hear that earlier. But he didn't go up the hill because a man was with him who said, he's just drunk. He's fine. Nobody has said... Yeah, see, isn't that interesting? I, I did hear that. So what Tamster said in her uh, super chat is pretty uh, important. I saw the interview with the guy. They just showed his feet while he was talking. And he did say that. He said that he heard something up above. So that must mean the homeless camps are on the bank down there. And he said, but he didn't go up there, up the hill, because a man was with him. So who was that man that was with him? He's just drunk. He's fine. Nobody is, has said uh, then someone was tumbling down. Uh, uh, nobody has said then someone was tumbling down, hitting trees and splash. Yeah. Well, who knows? So maybe they're, you know, they're not going to snitch on somebody. Hey, thanks, EI Rule. Thanks, Norm Scanlon. He said thank. Uh, thank you, Gray, for all you do. And then Revengeance, 15 months. Kathy Shiflett, 14 months. Thank you. Allie Cake. Then I gifted five memberships. Then Ladale Seagraves and EI Rule. Awesome. Hold on. Oh, and also, um, not sure. Oh, those are from today. Okay. Not that. These screen grabs are at the bridge where Riley. You didn't send any uh, screen grabs. There's nothing there. Oh, and thanks, Judy, uh, for the PayPal earlier. Appreciate it. There's a screenshot. Okay, let's see what this says. Hold on a second. Uh, so tonight, I went and searched for information down at the camp about Riley's strain and found out that, yes, someone had his shirt, but that just doesn't mean anybody had his shirt. I also found out some mind-blowing information about that night and about events that transpired with the person who was seen with his shirt. I have gotten with the police and investigators, and I'm hoping that by tomorrow, this information will lead to the location of the shirt and what happened. I honestly had no idea that I would come across what I found, but I was shocked to the point I had to get with Metro immediately I will share more information once they have done their investigation so nothing is compromised. Please keep his family in your prayers. I had to change this, po this post because I don't want things to get out of hand. I also don't want to hinder the investigation. I'm gonna, I am in contact with the powers that be. If anyone wants to reach, please message me. Hmm, I don't know. Never really sure. There's a lot of people on social media that are, you know, getting there. They always try to, like, insert themselves and they say things higher. But hopefully that's a real, a real story. Wouldn't that be great? You never know. I always get suspicious when they do a big post and tell everybody they can't tell you anything. So it's almost a post to let you know how important they are. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Just not really, that's not really, uh, let's see if there's an, what this update is, hold on. So I guess uh, people had sent me these things, might as well go over these ones. 
Uh, Uvalde Foundation is joining Search for Riley Strain Foundation. Uh, this comes after two local women on TikTok found a significant piece of evidence yet. Yeah. Uh, okay, nothing in that. So hold on. These are just emails that came in. Okay, this is the homeless person. Let's listen to that really fast. I uh, seen the guy that went missing. He came, came down through here. Fox 17 News speaking exclusively to a transient man who lives along the riverbank, right where Riley was last spotted. That's what on I was talking about. You see his feet near the James Robertson Parkway Bridge. We heard a commotion. We looked back up. He almost fell over the last bush right there. Caught him. He was very, very, very I mean, intoxicated. I guess. I mean, it was stumbling hard. I've ever seen anybody. I've never seen anybody stumble that hard before. The man telling me he didn't check on Riley since someone else was already there. I yelled up, they said, uh, no, he's just drunk, he's okay. The man who asked not to be identified says he reported the entire encounter to detectives. He says Riley continued in the same direction up First Avenue. But then Riley's trail stops. Other security footage just a block up the way. Didn't capture him. That was the finish of that. So he didn't make it a block away, but let's let's take a look at this. What are they talking about? A block away? Um, I don't know. I I was about done with the show, but now I got to go look at some stuff. This is about where we were seeing him, but there, yeah, right there. So that camera, that's what they were showing. I think did not pick him up, but the guy we just saw made it here. Okay, so the guy that we saw. You know that was running and then stopped and walked he made it right to this camera so they know on this camera who that person was is that the person that they're referring to wouldn't that be interesting wouldn't that be interesting all right anyways you guys thank you all for being here tonight uh thank you uh, we got a lot of new wait hold on what's this thing what why are you showing me this when the tiktok people were there finding the car the police showed up and told everyone to leave the phone pan out and it was line, the opening to the right of the bench. Okay, hold on, let's go take a look. The opening to the right of the bench. Which bench? Uh, let me let me go over here. Hold on. I think this is where they're saying that they the police showed up. I think it's this bench down here. Oh, Jesus. Is there a weird looking tree right past that bench? Yeah. So this bench, apparently that opening right there is where uh, this met, this email that I got said, when the TikTok people were there finding the card, the police showed up and told everyone to leave. The phone panned out and it was the opening to the right of the bench where the fence ends. So right here is let's put a pin right there apparently police went down right there yeah, i wish i'd looked at these earlier uh police went down here yeah still inside my that's exactly what i was thinking right inside that little portion right there awesome yeah, very cool. Thanks for sending me the emails. Next time I'll think of checking those. So the last ping was 9.53 exactly here. So don't you guys just look at it like that. At 9.53, there was the last ping. And then the person that was running, or let's say if they were running, would have had to leave here at like 9.53 in some odd seconds to get to this area to then start walking. <laughs> You know, it's just the timing of that is too suspicious to ignore. Hopefully law enforcement is looking into that. All right, you guys, thank you all very much for being here. Thank you to all the callers who called in, maybe not the psychic. Uh, you know, I guess thanks for calling in too, uh, but we don't do psychics here. I'm sorry if you're somebody out there that believes in that crap. It's embarrassing uh, that you do, but, uh, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> think through it a little bit. All right. 
uh, people are, are the good psychics out there are people that can work through cases and then they assign it to a ghost all right or some sort of vision and like a lot of us I have intuition I'm really that's something that everybody's always said I have I I'm intuitive um, it doesn't mean it's a special power of any kind it's just you know I'm one of those people but anyways thanks everybody for being here <clears throat> we'll see you guys tomorrow and as I always say, until next, and anyway, thanks everybody for subscribing. Hit the like button on the way out the door. You know, share the video, uh, whatever, and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and hit the notification bell, and s select all videos. All right. So thank you for watching, and uh, that's okay, John. You can you can believe all that shit. Thanks. Thank you very much for watching, and as I always say, until next time, be safe out there. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Yeah, everybody uses psychics yeah, as their last crime resort. Yeah, for quite a while okay. now. And during this whole time, I have not, not seen one person that is a... I'm a sector, a fun projector. I'm a certified human lie detector. Gonna get ya. Who Wanna cares, you John? If you try and play me like an old you can go ahead and believe in that shit, John. Go ahead. I'm not going to. Gonna give another lecture. Crime collector. Freak collector. And I'm always gonna be a pop attacker. Hold a flector. Interceptor. And I'm meaner than a specter with a vector. On his back door. He's on his back Just remember. I have a temple fucking checkcha. I have no agenda. I have a tender. I'm gonna send you Hey, look at that, Lanky Tor at the Blizzard Fender Look at that, everybody, Lanky Tor just gifted five memberships Someone named Deja Vu, Deja Vu, Deja Vu Sounds like a psychic to me Deja Vu, Deja Vu, Deja Vu 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 Deja Vu, 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 Deja Vu,